I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
shot. They are buying records and stuff, but they have to be taken properly with date and place and all the... I'll help you the date and place correct this time. They'll read it on your gravestone. Forget this thing. What Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you! Leave him alone! I killed him myself ah, with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. 
There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else, and the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me, so get ready to go. Then we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom? Please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time. Shame they spend so much time on the surface. Eh, well, sadly, it's their job. <laughs> job or no job, if they keep doing that. Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? <laughs> Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So, what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well. It's your life. Artyom, I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Your friends from the Order came to your help again. The Colonel seems to want you back in the unit. Why waste your time in our farming station, or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Eh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. <laughs> job or no job, if they keep doing that. Well, not everyone can stand being cooped up. <coughs> Uncle Artyom, and don't what? worry. It's I believe you. <coughs> <laughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? How many kids are there in the station? In the whole metro? Who will be left here in ten years? Ten years? We'll be lucky if we make it halfway there. Stop putting delusions into his head. I don't want him going crazy like you. I can't even sleep since you told him all those silly stories. Is that supposed to make him better? Please, leave my son alone. They know we can't solve anything by hiding in our holes. The stores are running out. There's fewer <coughs> and more of the mutants. And those keep getting larger, stronger, and smarter by the day. Sooner or later, they will crush us. Sure, there's nowhere else to go, but maybe something up there could help us. But, who knows? Maybe they found some secret maps in this system. A storage room like a broken record, record, something that will say the guy's not made it that time. You'd be a widow without a magical salvation of Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You gave us a scared? trick, brother. Artyom, how are you, friend? I see Artyom, you're all right. Gentlemen, give way. This calls for a celebration. Artyom. 
few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which... Alyosha, how you are you using the hospital, guys, huh? Would you just stop crowding him? <sighs> Brother. Welcome back, Artyom. Ah, Privyat, Artyom. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's a fish. Yeah. I knew it! You guys are like So I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom! More of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> Why, yes. And there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it! We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, father will kill me if he <laughs> finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. Had to scare a demon away. It was getting too comfortable here. Look, maybe you should come back to the order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Your turn now. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Turn the light off.
beasts are getting smarter. Let's pick up the pace. Now the whole area knows we're here. A draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Stop. The pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that is all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. But we take the bridge to cross the railroad. It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Hatyam, help me get out there. Shit! Come up now. Got you. Did you hear that, Arthur? Something more tired. At least it was far away. Now that's what I call a blizzard. Can't see a thing. Or here. Let's switch to radios. Are you seeing this? I'm not just imagining things, right? A train! A damn train on the surface! Where? Shit! What do we do, Artyom? Should we catch up with it? Look! It's our guys from the Order! Looks like they're chasing that train, too. Let's join them. Hey, come on! Get inside! How did you guys get here? Did you see that thing out there? We sure did. Come on, get in! You should have checked first, assholes! Artyom, thank god. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. 
They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. You people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. They won't be needing any masks.
Damn, watch them broke through. What's the cost? What are they done for? Keep your weapon trained on the opening. If anything comes through, shoot. Attention! The turntable is switching on. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again, okay? Some use. <laughs> okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Fix this line here. Wait. Everything is under control. I'll have to take him down. Can you do it quietly? What's with that mumbling? Ah, your man. Time to fit that prime jacket, huh? Yeah. Getting old isn't much fun. Go! 
through. Come on. Hey! This system supplies air. Good luck to you. Is this yours? They just left it sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! All on Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. So I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, ah, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Uh, hey guys, be careful. what's going on? Hey! Hey! Artyom, I see the enemy. Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Artyom. Keep looking for us. And all hell in a fucking team? 
Are you sure? And then they just walked in here all by themselves, did they? A chopper brought them and then scooted. Oh, yeah. Agent Egg reporting. Metro will have pretended to be civilians. You rookies all think you know everything at the League of Sinners. Did anyone check the generator? Who's shifting it now? Why check them anyway? With a scope, you can see them clearly from a tower. They spin if there's wind, they don't if there's none. What's the point in actually doing that? Don't give me that, Vidori. The enemy strikes where you don't expect. It's in my work, after all. That's true, I guess. Do you remember the time they had a short of its presentation? Oh, well. Nothing dangerous, at least. Team under enemy attack. The attackers are assumed to still be on the base territory. All unauthorized persons are to be fired upon immediately. Civilian forces are moved to this point until further notice. Attention! The jamming system is coming back online. Group D, continue patrolling the hangar. Group A, they checked the courtyard and generator room. Communications were lost there. Damn, how many guards do they have? They just had to attack now, these fuckers. Now I'll be stuck. Just stay put for now. 
We'll have to have a long talk later about breaking the rules. Ah, calm, safe place. Chance to just relax. What could be better? Am I glad to see you here? Are you alright? I'm fine, thank you. Alright. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch on, the turntable mechanism on. Roger that, based. Over. Uh, 
Alright, shoot these two! And as for the engineer... Oh, what do you mean, shoot these two? Is Don't this the you right dare right give me a limp, soldier! Here. The Colonel will give you a piece of his mind now. Colonel, sir, we have a situation here. Anna! Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! What the <laughs> hell? Artyom! What are you doing here? Talk about Sir Colonel, Christ. this will mean court-martial for all of you. All right, everyone, shut up! I can't believe this. Just can't believe this. Shit! So this is true? You're working for them? The bastards shot Artyom! Be quiet! They... How did you end up here? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hansa can't take this line no, down. Shit, the watchers Sherlock. won't let No, I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, what in the ravine, there are people so from other cities, dead. All Everyone of them, women, up. children. I'll tell you all later. Everything. Gramps, what's going on out there, down this road? The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They called the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to it's not my this call and you're misunderstanding. Not. Well, I'll general. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. It's it's not not us. Us. All right, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone, the whole fucking world, and not even batting an eye! Uh? Are you fucking kidding me? 
We? A traitor? You tell me. Where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No. I see only one answer. You've been fought and you're running back to your master. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What are you carrying, man? Defense plans? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life, you damn cripple? Plans? Treason? We have served you people without question for years! We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you? I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! But I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you! Not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. 
The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Why the long faces? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the SHIELD system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, uh, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, Maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station. Shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If Artyom finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. But if you have a better idea, then go ahead. Yes, I do. We have to find a good place for people from Moscow, like Artyom always wanted. Giving them all to the enemy? A grand idea. I say, we solve our problems before moving on to saving all Moscow, all right? How is it going, Artyom? Found it yet? There's a whole world out here, a world where we could live. So far, we only know one thing for sure. Radiation levels are nominal. The air is breathable. But what about the rain? So what? You can't even breathe in Moscow. So? Does anybody live out here? We don't know. How will they treat us? I don't know that either. What would they do if they found out there are survivors in Moscow? Again, I don't know. Keep looking, Artyom. There's got to be a signal. But we do know we've been lied to. For 20 years, we've been lied to. We know they've been killing people. Collateral damage is inevitable in operations of such scale and secrecy. 
Yes, people have died, but the bombs killed tens of millions. Yet we are alive. We stayed alive throughout those years. Artyom almost got killed. Is he just collateral damage too? Guess what? Yes! If you have to choose between the life of a single man, no matter how dear he is to you, and the lives of everybody else, all the dwellers of Metro, then there's nothing to think about. Are you looking for it, Artyom? Come on, do your best! Would you say the same about me? And about myself, too. I've spent my whole life protecting the people of Metro. Do you get it? My whole life. And I wouldn't hesitate for a second. I'm prepared to do anything to ensure Metro survives. Even though they'd shoot me on sight if I returned now, it doesn't matter. Too many lives are at stake. Too many lives have already been sacrificed to hesitate now. Too many. I'm sorry. I didn't want to... I mean, but we have to make up our minds. How will things finish for all of us if we start out lying to each other and arguing? We need to be better. You ask me how things will finish. Well, let me tell you, it all depends on Artyom now. If he finds the frequency, if they are alive. <sighs> Found it yet, Artyom? Please, try! It must be there! <sighs> Not in yet, Artyom! <sighs> this signal has got to be there! <sighs> Look some more! Keep looking, Artyom. That's got to be a signal. <sighs> Found it yet, Artyom? Please, try! It must be there! Attention! Attention! This is the Special Restoration Committee speaking to be a from signal. the Art Project base. Everyone who can hear me, everyone still loyal to the cause. Proceed to the rally point. Rally point Wait a moment, what was that? So, is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... Hmm. Bring it out, Demir. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> 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 it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? Huh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. Build the <laughs> Even better. <laughs> oh, come How on. How about Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Aurora!
Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. You're back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Full steam ahead. Wow, that's some distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? Oh, Anna. I was expecting an arrow from a Cupid, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker instead. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because I know you. Just so you know, scars attract the ladies. And there's definitely a lot of those up ahead. I don't need a lot, really. It's quality that matters. Look, Artyom, you should at least get some of that fresh air. No mask. This is what you've always dreamed about. Andrei Ivanovich, how long have you been working with those Jammer people for? About a year, I guess. At first, they got me to sign up by singing of my experience helping people. Told me about weather stations and muted migration observers. I was proud to be helping those. Then, about two months ago, they loaded a bunch of people onto my Aurora. The guards took them outside and came back alone. Told me they took the people to a nearby station, but I knew it had came in years ago. A few days later, I was coming back from a run, stopped the train, went and found those people. Soon they understood I saw that ravine. Fed me the usual lies about the spies and whatnot. Did you believe them? Well, it sure seems safer to believe. But then, I just couldn't keep the charade up. Then the security officer told me straight. Whoever you speak to, dies. The whole station dies with him if need be. So, that's how it went. But when I saw you, and then Artyom, I knew I wasn't alone anymore. You can't just keep these things in. Now I understand why you helped us back then. Thank you. Don't mention it. God willing, it won't end up being done in vain. Yes. Have you ever taken a train beyond city borders? No. Didn't get the chance to go. I used to be a metro train engineer. I worked on the ring line. <laughs> what a bore that was. Going round and round, all day, round and round, and no real distance either. It used to take less than 30 minutes to make the lap. So I kept dreaming about how good it would be to just leave the metro and work on a real railroad. And travel around Russia, not to run in circles like a, like a rat in a maze. My wife wouldn't let me. We had kids, too. When I'd start going on about the railroad, uh, about my dream, <laughs> she'd stop sleeping with me for months in protest. <laughs> uh, yes. But when Moscow got hit by Tatiana and little Sashenka, well, at home, I was working that day. Irishka was waiting for me in the metro, returning from cram school. So we survived together that day, but in the end I lost her too. TP. Ah, you know how it goes. So, I'm driving here and talking to Tatiana in my head. See, I say, you couldn't stop me for good after all. Here I am, on a real railroad. A real engineer. Danusha. I'm sorry I got so emotional there. Oh, it's my fault. I'm really sorry. And thank you for telling me. Hey, Artyom! Is there any music on the air? 
Martyum, a couple of words. Martyum, what's done is done. Yes, I didn't stop you from going outside. Yes, I tried to talk you out of it. Yes, I didn't tell you you're not the only ones to survive. But even I didn't have the clearance. Not back then. This is a state secret, do you understand? I've been granted clearance only after our fight to protect the D6. They said they needed me to teach their recruits, because the war was still on. Don't you think I was shocked? What did our people in D6 die for? What did I lose my legs for? But I understood. Because the war was still on, security was paramount. Our people would have understood. So please, do the same. You would have spilled the beans to everyone in Metro. You're a goddamn Prometheus, a messiah. You must lead the people out of the caves. Do you think you would have saved anyone? Remember that jammer? What if Moscow has been found out because of you? What if there are missiles inbound? Anyways, no matter what they think of me, I'm no deserter and will never become one. I'm ready to bear full responsibility for everything. But if there is even the smallest chance to earn my pardon, I will take it. Which means that we, like a runner that tripped, need to keep running ever faster just to keep balance. And don't dare you trip us all over again. Am I understood? I hope I am. Anyway, at least now we know where to run. So, go back inside and take a look at the map. Our route is pretty obvious now. Where would we be without them after the D6 debacle? 
They give us weapons, recruits to replenish our losses. We, on the other hand, our competence does not stretch beyond thinking cozy thoughts and keeping the fools in the metal from killing each other off. Remember, if not us, then who? You are too smart for your own good, idiot. So, dear mothers, can you feel how sweet the air is without a mask? Or not just sweet, so many shades of taste it has. A weird feeling, eh, my friend? I remember you telling me how you took your mask off atop a stunken otar. When you honed those missiles in on the dark ones, was the air bitter then? Who knows, though? Had you not launched those missiles, you'd probably never have climbed that building or received that signal. Life is weird, huh? One random event drags another with it, like links in a chain. And you are pulling that chain out of a deep, dark well. The links emerge from the dark water. And what drink is in that bucket that's on the end of the chain? That's a mystery. That's what I often think about when facing a choice. You can't drop the chain either. You always have to drink from that bucket. Well, bottoms up, I suppose. So, how does it feel to be the Moses who yanked on this particular chain? <laughs> Is it dumb to think about such things when all I ever did in life was carry out orders? Well, I'm not called idiot for nothing. Still, I would like to know what's on the end of your chain. Demir, I've been thinking. How far are we gonna go? No masks needed, the railroad runs through the whole country. Hmm, as far as we want, I reckon. As for Yamantau, it's about 2,000 clicks away. It certainly is a coal guzzler, this thing. But then again, there should be coal stores at every station. And if we don't find any, we could still burn firewood. <laughs> you see, I made a mistake of stocking up on filters. While I could have gotten a whole bunch of MREs for the same ammo, or, or a new hazard suit, I wish I'd known there'd be no need for them. The Corporal sold them way too hard, that bastard. <laughs> Get them while they last. He even gave me a book as a free extra. Quotations from Charman Mao, uh, the, 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 do you know this writer? Uh, Mao? Anyway, here I am like a fool with the stupid book and the filters. Well, we could really use that Milgrade ammo now. <laughs> you, you never know who or what we might meet. The You're not giving the book enough credit. At the very least, it contains a whole world of wisdom on fighting the war against the imperialism. Which we might encounter on the way, even though so far we just seem to be fighting our own. Yeah! Anna's pulling no punches this time! Perhaps she shouldn't have. It, it's not like the Cardinal understands everything. Mm, now who's in the right here? Uh, whoever's not wrong, obviously. Well, who's not wrong then? He who does nothing and says nothing too. Give me a break. Who's in the right now? Everybody is, brother. And nobody. Uh, I shouldn't have asked. I am not bothered when I'm not understood. I am bothered when I don't understand.
It seems to me, whether it was intended or not, that our colonel now has a goal to strive for because of you. We all remember the way you fought back in D6, so no matter what lies ahead, we're with you. You can count on us. Yeah, yes. As for me, I'm running a little inventory check. Yeah, it is kind of cramped in here. I'm thinking of making something of a workbench. So that's all the instruments we get, and everything else would be within arm's reach. With no workbench, you just lose small components. We'll use this place to work on the weapons. Cleaning, oiling, keep out of everybody's way, and keep them from messing with my stuff. Ah, well, we'll have to take turns, of course, but we'll manage. So, if you find any weapons you'd like to keep, I'll store them for you here on the Aurora, and you can come back to exchange them. You'll get them back in their best shape ever, don't you doubt. Ah, boy, have I cleaned and oiled a lot of weapons in my life. Hmm, factory, and homemade, too. Some of those were just amazing, so unusual. So, if you have any weapon-related questions, I'm your man. And weapons, they are like girls. They need attention. You clean your weapon well, you oil it, you check the ammo, because these dirty ammo caps do get rusty sometimes. But if you put your heart into it, the weapon never fails. Ah, well, I'll just finish oiling this one, then start on another. Well, hello there, Tom. You people could have called me up there to drink to Aurora. I still think Beelzebub was a better name. <laughs> uh, by the way, did you come to trade places with me? Or did you just want some exercise? I heard that. Monotonous labor calms you. Well, it's no lie. I do feel this calm, you see. Idiot says it's dynamic meditation. That philosopher doesn't come here to meditate often. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they? while we were eating each other alive in the metro. We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, 
and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed? That we'll get some answers? Froze anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Shots fired! Four bogies on a trolley! Are you all right, Artyom? Damn! That pierced the cylinder! How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck! Ah, oh, shit! Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. Yeah, I go with Artyom too. Let's back up. No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. I'm gonna check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Artyom, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy, enslaved or something. Going down. Haha, <laughs> that was great. Hey, what was that? Could you check it out? Thank <laughs> you. 
I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go.
Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg. Traveler! Our father, Salantius, has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful lot, so please keep your weapons sheathed. And welcome! Here either. 
Silantius locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen in this place all that year. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silantius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Artyom, she's right. Get to the boat. We will rescue her later. Don't worry. Go! Nighty, Nighty, I can get you. Mommy, Mommy. Where is that heretic? It's seen by both during the sermon. And then what? So he, he was just there and then he kind of disappeared. And just like Father Salentius said, the man was sent by the devil. Yeah, I know. I know what Father said. Tell me if you saw where he went. Well, he just kind of oh, vanished. I see. All right, God bless you. And I will go look elsewhere. What a dunce! He saw nothing, but still has to run his mouth. <laughs> Nasty lied to you. We didn't kill anybody. Her father, he went to fight a demon and died. Tell him, Kuzma. Yes, he went after a demon. And we have many orphans like her here, so please let us be. Artyom, I can't cover you when you're inside. I'm changing position to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine. Come out, you dirty spawn of Satan! Come out and don't tempt these men anymore! Are you sure that was a hint? Come on, you hellspawn! Hell? Repent! Confess your it's sins! It's and it's that will count in your favor when the judgment day comes! Well, they say that as soon as Father Salentius finished his sermon, there was a flash of hellish light and the heretic just vanished! What did, they, <laughs> did they smell sulfur? They just keep No, they up. didn't. But they say that the satanic machine has a vat with sulfur and a vat with oil in it. And whoever gets seduced by the heretics gets boiled in one of them. Women in oil, men in sulfur. <laughs> and you believe them? That machine only has coal and water. All right, let's go look for him then. Grab him by the tail or horns when you find him. <laughs> Lord, protect me. Have you found him yet? Or should I look for him myself, brethren? That heretic is long gone, I think. We have to find him, my children!
job, Artyom. You're like a real ninja. I just kiss you right now. Though, I've got to take Katya and Nastya to the Aurora, so see you there. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight there from your position. huge the old man sent me out as a forward sentry told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action so I just had a front row seat watching you there and so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult how about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here though we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble though. I wish I could somehow talk to that catfish into chomping all those water bugs. How did Mowgli talk to the animals, I wonder? Speaking of Mowgli, we have the same blood type, you and I. Haven't you noticed? <laughs> well, I guess you have to go now, Artyom. I feel your father-in-law training his binoculars on us to turn us into pillars of salt. <laughs> at home here now since we're alive. The 
bridge seems like a nice place. At least it's not going to get flooded. We might end up going to Moscow by rail later. Well, we'll have to live and see about that. You're alive. <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy.
Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all lucked out with Anna. She's a total dead-eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Okay, stop by my desk once you're Thank done you. talking to the old man. I've got something for you. So, Katya. Artyom, come Where over here, please. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we are to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yeramak can't handle the repairs alone. So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up, otherwise you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. And they say this place used to be great. Did you come with your husband? There were 15 of us. But now only Nastya and I are alive. I... I'm sorry. Hey, why are you so gloomy? Don't you like the tea? I do. Oh, when the gargoyle attacked, Nastya lost her teddy. The beast carried it away. Oh, must have thought it was alive. Oh, don't you worry. We'll find your teddy. Huh. We call them demons in Moscow, and you call them gargoyles. Yes, where did those things crawl out from, I wonder? Well, there's radiation, chemical weapons and stuff. Nature just went strange. Yeah, the planet's been trashed. No wonder Silantius had such a hold over everyone here, with people seeing things like that every day. Poor fools. Like Artyom, are you going to the port? I'm going to relieve Alyosha now, so I can't come with you. 
His hand is still giving him trouble. So Katya being a nurse is just perfect. It will make convincing Dad to take them along so much easier. I'm going to talk to him about that later. Besides, he doesn't really want to leave them here himself. I can see that. But he's so hung up on those occupying forces, he can't even think of anything else. All right, you go run that errand for my father now. Just be careful out there. You know I worry about you. But Silantius wouldn't even hear of me treating anyone. He said God claims his own. He only cares about feeding their bodies to that fish once they die. He says it's their sure way into heaven. I tried doing something to help them, but no, it's a sin. And then he just locked us up in that tower. And somehow a stupid flashlight made it worse. Uncle Crest gave me the flashlight, but Silantius got mad and smashed it. He did, and then he cursed Crest, so the man had to hide in the port. It's a basement lair, so Silantius can get him there. He also wanted to make mommy marry him, but she didn't want to. He's old and nasty. Ah. Yes, the gospel of the damn fish says nothing about marriage. I was lucky to protect my daughter. That crazy creep, he's just so... Will you take us away from here, please? Of course we will. Don't you worry.
You pretty amazing, братуха. That was crazy. Блин, those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers have never had a chance against them. You, you just cut through them, блин. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Crest, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me? Well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blyad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Блин, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal, blink. The cult is considered a holy place, covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti, their tsarfish <laughs> live there, you know, stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now. Here is my cave. 
And this is where I live. Not the palace. Well, oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired, my home is your home. I made a workbench to tinker on. If you need ammo, grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like here. Can't carry all the shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Oh, anyhow, gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty face. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. Managed to buy some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chased me away. Now you could take the zip line down, just walk up and uh, away you go. Dumb cretins didn't like my light. Yeah, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since. I guess you shouldn't start a fight with them right away. They are dumb and brainwashed, so they were probably just scared shitless by your arrival. I'll bet they thought Judgment Day had come, and right on time, too. <laughs> you have nothing to fear from me.
Artyom, I heard you call me. It was so great there. <coughs> but I heard you and couldn't leave you.
Good Artyom found me. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is either for storage or it's a dump. And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark the spot. Thank you, my love. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, Artyom, let's pick her up now? No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get going. <laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy now, thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. <clears throat> Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guys are here. <laughs> Sam, is that you? Thanks for helping find Anna. Now I want you to drag her butt here with extreme prejudice. <laughs> Time to talk some sense into that threat. Hmm. Stepan's asking for some too. Trying to get civilians on board. Everyone's gone nuts here. Head back. Help Stepan persuade my father. About letting Katya and Nastya travel with us. Artyom, I am feeling better now. Really, I am. So, Sam, tell me what the real enemy bases look like so that we know when, when we see it. Well, first of all, there are these huge humanoid robots, all plastered with stars and stripes, with nuclear reactors up their asses. Oh, and the food's great. Burgers, fries, shakes. No, I'm being serious. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, well let me be serious too. How the hell am I supposed to know how they look now? I haven't seen one in, what, 20 years or so? A fence, some guard towers, patrols, buildings. Bases look like bases. Artyom, help us here. The old man won't let Katya and Nastya come with us, even though Katya told us where to find a passenger car in great condition. I... Uh, we... We have to go back now, I guess. Where... Where would you go? Those fanatics would eat you alive. Well... Maybe they... I don't know. I mean, sure, it's not just about the space. We might have to fight our way through the bridge, and even after we do, we don't know what dangers lie ahead. But still! And I told him I could help. I'm a medic. I also told him about the bridge, that it could be lowered. Yes, I even told him about the carriage in the train depot. We came all the way here in it. It's very good. We prepared it for the long trip. Uncle Artyom, please, let us come. I will be good. I will have with everything. I will. 
Oh, Nastya, quit bugging Uncle Artyom. Oh, don't you worry, Nastya. Uncle Artyom will talk to our commander and sort it all out. Whoa, Uncle Artyom is more important than that scary commander with metal legs. <laughs> oh, darling, you can't say that. Well, Uncle Miller is the chief here, but he does listen to what Artyom thinks. Doesn't he, Uncle Artyom? Uh, I was going to go and get that carriage myself, but no dice. Leaving your post, enemy court-martial, you know the drill. So now, it's up to you and Anna to persuade him. Will you take us away from here, please? Of course we will. Don't you worry. Alright, welcome to the crew. Thank you. Won't let you down. Hey, Artyom. See how it all worked out? Come here, Artyom. Have a seat. Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So... Disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the traders' boat. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Sitan, did you ever try using your head? Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. I'll give them my bedroll and move into the stock. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut the next day you'll get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. Oh, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in a terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go. It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time. Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Listen, Artyom, if the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nastya will be so grateful. Here, Artyom. It's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich. No two ways about it. We went to hell and back, her and I. So much stuff you hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom. Since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look... If you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's done. But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out and there are also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity. So, you should think about your options before heading out. Artyom, Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway... If you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stefan. I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see. Great job persuading the old man. Check out my setup here, Artyom. I finally got everything the way I wanted. A proper workbench. 
with storage space for all my tools and some to spare. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here, just like with any other workbench you might find. My gun rack is only available here on the Aurora, though. I'll keep samples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whenever you want. Always in the best working condition. Oiled and shiny like new. <laughs> you won't have to install any attachments again, though. I am going to make you all competent gunsmiths eventually. Listen, Artyom, I have something for your TR. You can try installing it. Use the workbench. Well, I won't keep you here any longer. Artyom, the workbench is at your service if you need it. Anna, thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know what would have become of us without you. It is a cursed place. And that's Silantius. Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now, so wish him luck. Of course, God bless you, Artyom. And you, Stepan, thank you. Uh, let me take a look. Oh, it's... I don't even mention it. Uncle Artyom! Uncle Artyom! Are you going on a mission? I just wanted to ask. There, where the big tanks are. If you find my teddy bear, just in case you do, could you bring him home? A demon took him. A flying one. It was scary. They live there. It took Teddy to his children. <sighs> I miss Teddy so much. I wanted to go visit him, but Mom won't let me, because there are electric demons too. I'm telling the truth. They come out at night and they light up. So pretty. And scary too. A bit. Artyom, I haven't really thanked you properly for saving me from that stupid cellar yet. You know, I didn't even get scared when I fell. Because I knew you'd come and save me no matter what. Thank you, my love. Now, go. Come back soon and stay away from the hotspots. Artyom, uh, are you going to the terminal? You might meet Duke there. He's got an observation post set up in a carriage near the bridge. Ask him for a sit trap before going in. One more thing. That tower to the right, see it? There's someone over there. I think it's the bandits. They're watching us. Uh, we heard someone playing guitar over there. Those guys can't play for shit. Stepan wanted to take the instrument from them. They were butchering the melody so badly. So, won't you liberate that guitar? Make an old friend happy. Stepan is a wizard with a six-string. He plays some mean classic rock. Good luck, Artyom.
You fucking sure? Yes, yes, there's nobody. We, I beg you. Looks like the door ain't coming. So, should we let the sad go? Sure thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Ah, these devils caught me on my way to the house of the fish. I had a penance from my father, Celandias, and so I got about halfway, and then this got me. Oh, I, I see you're one of the heretics. But I tell you anyway, there is a cashier on this island. There is a device. 
But we can use it. It's a sin. But you could. I'll just have some rest here before I go back. I'll keep praying for you to the starfish for the rest of my life. It might save your soul. Simon, the bridge is done for. The fanatics have taken over. I was prepared to give them a quarter of the cargo, but they wouldn't even hear me out. Wanted me to leave my diesel first and fuck that noise. I'm not pushing the platform with a fucking hand car for 200 clicks. We're neck deep in the red, though. So I'm sending Surge to you with this message. Sell the diesel to the brothers, they were offering good cash for it, and get that ferry. Or a self-propelled barge or a tugboat. Do you understand me, Simon? No haggling. As soon as the others hear about the bridge, any piece of shit that floats will be worth its weight in gold. But we could still bounce back if we do it fast. Get to it, Simon. Time is money.
Glad to see you alive and well, Artyom. Back already, Artyom. I'm Captain Brunskill, NATO Occupation Forces. Hands up or I'll shoot. What the fuck? Are you fucking mad, Sam? <laughs> I got you, didn't I? You almost got yourself shot. If I did, my death would be dead. I'm not doing anything with the workbench now, Artyom, so you are welcome to use it. Just 
Don't shoot! <sighs> Look, you just, you know, just don't shoot me, Brad. Don't shoot me. That dude is one smooth operator. Got me like this? He's fucking tough.
this would have got me. What the hell did these fuckies even come from? Can't even shoot them, man. This chance is filling its butt with so much buckshot, it plops down someone to take a breather while you make a break for it. God damn it!
I was fucking sure I saw some fuckery. You fuck! Fuck! I'm laying low for now. when the heathens ambushed us. Please, don't leave us here. Though you are a heretic, we will pray for the salvation of your soul for as long as we live. God bless you. Prayer is great, but I'd like to thank you with something more substantial. Listen close. There's a room in the terminal. We bring all the sinful things there for the fish to purify them. Here, take this key. You're a sinner anyway, and there might be something of use for you there. Simon, you mustn't. Celantius will excommunicate you for that. He won't if you don't tell him. Or perhaps you'd rather die here, by a heathen's blade. Oh, of course not. I won't tell. some time to rest, then we'll walk back to the bridge with the Lord's help. Yes, this will be done.
dumbasses start running around. Hey, have you ever been inside the terminal? Shit, this is the piece. Gotta keep both eyes peeled all the time, and that's just. <laughs>
когда с тобой сидели на веранде.
blood brother. Didn't see me, huh? The others don't either. I'm basically part of this scenery now. I heard you were headed to the terminal for the rail car. Then let me fill you in. The terminal can only be entered by water. Luckily, there is a dock with a boat nearby. Left there by the fanatics, it seems. Inside, there are just those, uh, um, humanimal ruins, or so it seems. See those ruins? There is a bandit camp there, too. They have a sniper. I saw at least one scope flashing from the roof, so I wouldn't advise an open attack. The bridge is in full lockdown. None of the armed dudes ever show themselves. They definitely expect us to attack, so there is no reason to be concerned about them now. Hey, it's your choice when to move out, but the bandits should be easier to avoid in the dark. In any case, I'm going back to my post.
You just keep calm and don't shoot, man. I surrender.
And then I saw that huge thing, like real huge, went straight for us, clanging, <laughs> shrieking, smoke everywhere. I only had time to say, Lord, save us, and it broke through. We were lucky we got away alive. Ah, will you just look at what the cat dragged in? A, a heretic! Well, I'll be. He doesn't turn his satanic light on us. His gun is holstered. He's a human after all, even though he is a heretic. He has some sense, even. His soul may not be completely lost. You wish. Do they even have a soul, them heretics? Look at his armor. Yeah, that's a work of Satan, all right. I wish our paladin said something like that, though. Of course, blessed by Father Salentius. We'd never have lost the train depot or the tower to those bandits. We'd still have it all, and they'd all be in hell. We'd be cutting them down like dogs. It is temptation. Temptation by technology and its satanic power. You're right. But really, damn.
this one of them! A heretic! You're from that train, aren't you? Well, hello there, friend. Peace be upon thee. You seem to be hailing from a really advanced place. Just look at your gear. Huh? Satanic trifles! You see, son? He's a good man. He knows how to behave. No need to be nervous. You just... You know... Don't be angry with the locals. It's just that there have been lots of attacks lately, so they're kind of riled up. Silentius is brainwashing them all the time, too. Sinful words, father! You see this one? He's my son. Here, you do what Silentius says, or else you're in trouble. I heard that Crest joined you. That's good. He's a good man. It would be a shame for him to just die for nothing. And he's tough, too. And thanks for taking Katya and her child in as well. It was such a mess, you know? I'd come with you, too. I can shoot really well. Right after the war, it was like those Western movies around here. But... Nah, I've got a son. And because of his mom's stupidity, he's a fish worshipper. And he won't leave this place, no matter what. I can't just leave the dummy here. Do you even know what that movie is, son? Have you heard about those? It's a sin, father! Sin- Enough pointing that gun of yours at me, bro. Just put it away and... Yeah.
fucking bastard, Solantius. What an idea. Prove my faith by destroying a demon. What a steaming load of shit. A fucking fireball. I spent my life on the railroad, so I'm no stranger to 25 kilovolt lines. I'll handle it, but the others? Look, Salantius, I know you're listening to this, you miserable fuck. Because if I get back, I'm burning this thing. I still have enough sense for that. But since I didn't, I was afraid to spit this into your face. So enjoy this now. You? What a fucking party official! And now you fancy yourself a saint? Killing people over fucking nothing! How the fuck can you sleep at night? I tell you what, I fucking wait for you in hell! Satan himself will give me a personal pitchfork with your fucking name on it, even though I don't believe in no fucking afterlife! See you soon, Salantius! It's going to be fun!
have to make it last. September 20th. Tonight we had a preacher barge into the council meeting to spout some bullshit about God having spared us specifically, and then sending the ball lightning to punish us for our sins. Sins? What's he even talking about? Our last generator is out because of those things. People died. <laughs> he didn't stop at sins. No, he went on to say that we have to fight the demons of electricity with prayer, fasting, and charms. Charms? And, and those idiots actually listened to him. Luckily, Roman had enough sense to kick the madman out, or else I would have blown my fuse. Anyway, due to those idiotic ramblings, we've agreed to delay the construction of the lightning rod stockade a bit. Let the madman show his charms in action. September 27th. Ed Silentius isn't as dumb as he seems. Those charms of his were actually lightning rods. It took so long for our electricians to explain proper grounding, and the people still think they can cheat physics. But this guy just told them God ordered to do it this way, and what do you know? They destroyed three of those ball lightning things yesterday with no losses. Roman was unhappy, though. There's no pleasing some people. But what difference does the color of a cat make as long as the cat catches the rats? October 5th. Salantius is right. We have to get rid of the rest of the equipment. It does attract the ball lightning, and it's not like we are ever going to restore the normal supply of electricity without our generator. So, what's the point in taking a risk by keeping the stuff? We can live without it. October 7th. Roman is dead. That catfish. Yes, there was no real need to gather everyone. We could have gone through it gradually. And it is true that some of the actual useful stuff got thrown into the river too. But such things are bound to happen. It's hardly worth starting a commotion over it, jumping into the water. He definitely could feel the power seeping through his fingers, but to go so far as to raise a hand against Salantius? It happened exactly the way the man told us it would, too. December 31st. The tape is coming to an end, just as this year. God willing, our troubles are going to end with it, too. We're no longer alone in this world. The God is with us, so who could stand against us? Not me, that's for sure. And this means this log is done for. A New Year's Eve is a perfect time to turn a new page. <laughs> Besides, as Father Salantius says, electricity is a sin.
is for the most part accumulated in the sediment and as a result affects the benthic community the most. The active agents provoke pronounced pathologies in the crustacean and mollusk young, which quickly proved to be fatal. Yet the catfish hatchlings in the test basin have not only survived and remained completely unharmed, but quite unexpectedly have overtaken the control groups in terms of growth by a factor of at least four. The agent does not seem to impact the pelagic fish species that much. The perch and roach young have shown a marginal increase in growth with no apparent negative effect.
I don't get this. Why are we sitting here? And why do you send the boys to the bridge? Those bridge has got moved, and we can't sell them off to Astrakhan. Half would die before we got there, and paying off the Krivoy gang on the way would leave us in the red. Don't fret. Glab has got it all covered. The boys are there so that the bridge heads don't squeal on us to the caravaneers. Oh, what is the caravan carrying? <coughs> Ammo or something? <coughs> It's all going to be ours no matter what. But the main point is that they got the castle. All the others might train from up the car and those their bodies up there. This is just pointless. Pointless, I say.
So, how's it going? Did you oil the gate? Nah, what for anyway? Are you fucking with me? We've rolled up with those caravanners at night, but this gate is so squeaky, it'll turn it way over on the bridge. Ah, I see. Well, nothing I can do. The boat took me away. Well, I'll find it. This just doesn't feel right. We should all just go back home, I say. <sighs> Shit. I'm just like... <sighs> passing out here. That's no good.
It's amazing! I knew you had great potential, even back then at the Jammer. Ah, oh, isn't she a Uncle beauty? Uncle, will you find my Teddy? Oh, you can see she's been properly cared for all this time. <laughs> so unlike my poor... Teddy? Teddy! Are you really back? You're my hero, Teddy! Mom! Teddy's back! What do you have to say? Oh, thank you, Uncle Artyom. Thank you so much. Artyom, come up here. I have something to talk to you about. Thank you, Artyom. I don't even know how to thank you. Спасибо. Thank you, Artyom. You are the man. I am in your debt. Hello, Artyom. You're back. You did great. Thank you. So, here's the plan. Your group captures the tugboat. Then you, Duke and Crest, take it to the bridge. While Crest distracts the guards, you and Duke infiltrate the control room at the top and lower the bridge. On your mark, we'll ram the gates, pick you up and... And I pray to God it works out. Hmm. I can't give you or Duke any direct support. The data we have tells us the enemy's main force is guarding the gate. One more thing, Artyom. Look after Duke, all right? He's a great scout, but uh, prone to unnecessary risks. Now, sure, he's young, but if he continues like that, who knows what will happen, huh? So give him a good example and do it smoothly and quietly. You are his role model, and as such should remember that you are special forces, not tank jocks. Good luck, Artyom. Welcome back, Ranger. <laughs> it looks like I've been worrying for nothing. It's my age, I guess. Oh, well, we were all worried. Yeah, but Anna took it to a whole new level, I must say. Artyom, look, I have an improvement for Tiha ready. Try taking it out for a trial. You're welcome to use the workbench to install it. So, are you ready for that final push? Good luck, and thanks again. Oh, where did you get this? God damn, this is cool. Thank you, man. You just blew my mind. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can't even begin to explain how much this means to us. Thank you. You see, it's our carriage from a year ago. So many things happened.
Artyom, I see you. Come up here on the crane. I'm here. You made it. I was worried sick while you were running around in that terminal. Yermak said you brought the sleeper carriage. You are simply the best. Sorry I'm talking so much, but I missed you. Okay, okay, back to business. <clears throat> Damned cough. I guess I spent too much time in that dump. So, they have more guards than we anticipated. It seems risky, but Crest says such caravans are usually commanded by a captain. So if we capture him, the others will surrender. They have about 15 guards. Four at the tugboat ladder, sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Come in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. Duke in position, ready to take the guard off. Idiot is on the far crane. Ready for action. Got a mark on everyone on the pier. Crest has scouted out the basement. There's only two of them here. Busy repairing something, so... This seems to be the best part for quite empty. Well, Artyom, we are all set. You managed to get out of the church quietly, so let's make this one the same. Yeah, it's no fun beating up immature soldiers like them. Cut the chatter. All right, Artyom, you're in charge. You call the shots. Okay, well, it's high time we started. So try to get on that tugboat. We'll give you cover. Let's go over plan one more time. Once the tugboat is in our hands, Sam, Idiot, and I will go back to the Aurora, while Artyom, Duke, and Kress take the boat to the bridge. Good luck, everyone.
Follow me now. I'm aboard there. I'll distract them. You get on. Hide here and wait for them to pass. Hey, what was that? We had to check it out. Uh, what's the point? Uh, Do you have what's to look for more stuff to hear? Even having us here. Well, I sure don't like it, but we gotta check. All right, let's do that. I'll avenge you if you get me. Yeah, yeah, sure. Just don't shoot my ass, though, okay, you avenging angel? So, are we going to Nizhny this time? No, we'll turn back about 20 clicks from there. Fuck those assholes. You're talking about the outpost? Yeah, the last time we were there, those fucking so-called vigilant watchmen made a sieve out of our bridge. Conveniently, everything was all right while we were unloading. There are narrow spaces between the cargo. Squeeze through them. Damn the assholes. Well said. So now, even if they offer a crate of ammo for a piece of bread, I don't care. I'd sooner go to Baku than there. There's a float between the barges. Climb overboard. Hey, it's not tobacco, it's bait. That's a good one. They don't even bite here. His must have eaten all the fish. Yeah, you can't eat all the fish. Anyway, we'll move along and quit scaring the fish away with your bullshit. It's high time you stop the biting. All right, see all you want. Oh, okay. quit scaring the fish. <laughs> so how long well, are we going to keep sitting on our phones here? Well, the guy which is working on the generator shuts off all the time. If that's because you should have picked up normal spark plugs, not the shit you got. It sure would have saved us a lot of trouble. They aren't so bad. Look how long they lasted. And Ahmed wanted two more clips for the new guys, so... But anyway, what's your problem? Are you in a hurry? This place gives me the clips. That monster in the river? This shit is too much. <laughs> it's a shame you aren't in Chimboxari. Uh, 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 if things continue going the way they are, the uh, weapon locks are going to be rusted shut in no time. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I can pay the, the goods! Take them! You can take the goods! Stay calm! It's us! We don't need your goods! Your tugboat, on the other hand! You can collect it at the bridge if you play your cards right! You got me? Uh, yes, of course! Order your people to stand down and nobody gets hurt! At once! Hey, listen up, people! This is your skipper! Stand down and surrender at once! You did the right thing. It's nice to talk to a smart guy for a change. Now go! <laughs> Great job, Artyom. Artyom, all of our guys are fine. You did great.
So, you guys ready to set off? Too late if you're not. We have no time to waste. Good luck, guys. I hope the winds are fair and the waters are smooth. And Artyom, watch it out there. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that luck, all right. Fair winds. Hurra! Man your stations, way anchor! We're gonna go about halfway there, then wait in the reeds until about 4 o'clock. We want to get there early in the morning, when the fog is the thickest and they are sleepy after the morning prayer. Artyomich, Duke, we're on final approach. There. See that fire at the very top? That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine, believe. Closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. You are sure? Catch the line! Ready! Hey, sailor! What did you do to your barge? What you gonna sell now? <laughs> Whoa! You're so funny! Jack is funny. So, Artyom, shall we move? Whoever gets there first we wins! Break a leg! by heathens, but a heretic. <laughs> One of the new ones who the... Ah, old Simon just got cold feet, that's all. All the stories people tell not to go. He came back Now we will be praying to the heretic as the Hey, brother. Electric 
This curse is this the enemy gave to the fools, so that they would fancy themselves above reproach, above God, and more powerful than him. We Glory to the fish! So let us not fear the heretics at our door. The ones who attack our doors, fear the Lord Christ, standing before us, drinking the blood of sea oil, and shining it that is the light upon us. We will not falter. Let us steal ourselves against them. For this is our hour of glory. Amen. 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 What's that movement over there? So let your hands say the enemy's servants with no less or mercy. For we carry out the will of our Lord. And it is his retribution and punishment for their sins that our enemies will receive. And all who stand before our gates shall scatter like dust in the wind. His will be done! We'll never get past this selfish! So you got me in their tactics. You took Gatcha, and now you have me! Damn, you are quicker too! Oh look, we're just passing through. Let us through peacefully, our guys won't shoot. We've been easy on you people the whole time, and Katya asked us to take her along herself. Do you get me? Sure thing. First, you kill off the local cutthroats, and then you switch to us. Will you kill elders and children too? Or have you drunk it of blood already? Leave us for good now. God may punish you for your sins, but my responsibility is to tend my flock. That's a good boy. Hear me, brothers! Hold your fire! You hear me? I'll excommunicate everyone who shoots! Well, I did all I could. Just don't shoot. And tell the driver to keep it slow. The bridge is in shambles, so don't stop, or the bridge might collapse. You will have to jump. What do you care? We've reached an agreement. They will let us through if we don't shoot and move forward. And don't stop. I repeat, do not stop. Over. Artyom, let's jump! Well, that's a job well done, huh? <laughs>
You did a great job there. We are not home anymore, so we'd all better act like you did. Smoothly. It's not like there's many of us humans left now. So I hope someday we will be able to trust others just because. Because they are people too. Am I bothering you? Sorry, I'm in a philosophical mood today. Uncle Artyom! Uncle Artyom! Uncle Tokarev has already set his shop up! Wanna go look? It's so cool! Here, Uncle Artyom! Ah, hi, Artyom! See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. Ah, what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach, yet there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this, too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. And it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know. Well, Duke's plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore. And he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one, or else his toes would be in danger. <sighs> Regardless, I am turning this little gang back into a real army. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The Colonel summoned you. Well, I have stuff to do too. You guys are fast to break gear, but none too expedient to fix it. Uncle Tokarev! Uncle Tokarev! <sighs> what would you like to ask, Nastya? Uncle Tokarev, do you have a sewing machine? No, I don't. But how are you going to fix the suits, then? Well, like everyone else, I take a thread and a needle, and I use a sail stitch. Whoa, cool! Can you teach me? I sure can, but later. I've got work to do. Will you let me fix Sam's rifle strap? performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. I'm sorry to ask, Katya, but Nastya's father, he's dead, isn't he? Does Nastya know? He is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. Around three days passed, and I still kept it in. I just sat there with a needle in my hand and didn't see anything. It was all black before my eyes. And then she snuggles up to me and says, You should cry, Ma. You will feel better. Sini used to say it. So I cried and cried. She knows. 
She knows it all. I'm sorry, Katja. I'm so sorry. Let me tell you how we ended up at the bridge. We used to live in northeast from here. Quite close if you go in a straight line. But it took us a month. Everything's bombed to rubble out there. Yermak asked me and I told him. Sini used to say there were lots of military factories out there. Not just military, of course. General industry. And now you can't pass through there even with filters. The radiation is so high. No railway either, just crater upon crater. We were quite far, but our counter still went crazy. One route appeared intact. There was nothing to bomb. So we used that one, thinking we'd get further to the west, but... But of course they did not let us cross the bridge with the diesel. They said it was satanic. They were ready to let us stay if we gave them the diesel to cleanse it. So we stayed. And then we couldn't leave, even if we wanted. That old goat, Father Silentius, brainwashed everyone, so they would just pray and bow nonstop. They broke our diesel down with their bare hands and threw it into the river. Purification. And on top of it, they gave us trouble for not helping them. Senia went to check what was going on, and there were only locals there. Because Silentius at the Skatina had sent our people away to test them. He said that if they wanted to be truly accepted, they had to defeat a demon. Senia went to stop them. But it was too late. He only found burnt rags. And then they sent him to do the same. He never came back. Katya, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. Well, you really didn't. What's done is done. <clears throat> <sighs> it kind of got so glum in here. Hmm. Perhaps you, Stepan, could play us something. Sure thing! I'll stop it already! <laughs> well, what did you expect? Hey, Artyom, <laughs> the colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. So, what's up with your plate carrier? Tokarev was mad. Ah, it's a long story. Come on, out with it! Well, there I am, sitting on a beam, looking at Artyom, milling about below. Oh, you are so full of it! <laughs> Artyom did most of the work! <laughs> that he did, uh, yeah, he did. But you don't have to interrupt my lies. You ask me about the waste yourselves. Alright, go on. So, I see Artyom get to the door, and I think it's time I came down. So I do. But something just holds on to me. What does? How should I know? It's dark. Nobody around. But I can't move. And those locals kept going on about Tsar something. So I thought I was in a kind of a bind. So? So I just unfastened the safety and leapt down. There was that shed down there. The roof was uh, kind of close. Uh, 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 and what about the Tsar? Oh, blue! The Tsar was huge! Scary as shit! And there was this rusty bolt, and my carrier got snagged on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you Duke are lucky you already have a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. And what was next? Oh, <laughs> next. Next we jumped that old preacher of theirs. Well, Artyom did most of it. <laughs> he swooped in like a hawk! <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> he's good. Well, I was clamoring about those beams and fighting that side. <laughs> oh, I'm killing myself! Well, he basically solved the whole problem. True that. Good job, Artyom. Yeah, you both did well. Crest also. 
<laughs> sure. He did a swell job distracting those guards. I almost wet my pants with laughter when they started hauling that timber. <laughs> he's an artist. Yeah, he's a great guy. You all came out on top of the game. And that calls for what? A trick. You nailed it. You truly are one of us now, Sam. <laughs> Will you be joining us? Nah, not now. I'll have some at dinner. Well, you'll have to catch up then. Sure thing. Anyways, we will just have a little as a warm-up now. <laughs> Great! Ah, that's some good stuff. Of Doker, he got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. Hey, this is Ark. Hey, uh, identify yourself. Uh, over. This is Colonel Svetoslav Milnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Over. Yes, yes. I hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? Uh, how do I address you? The Deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. A, a moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that the checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. Um, a Melikov? Simply capable. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but as you know, the situation is dire and the enemy is always ready to strike. I do understand, Major, and I hope that you can tell the leadership that my people are true to their duty and will be at their full disposal as soon as we arrive. Over. Thank you for the great news. How large is your force, Colonel? I have a squad of the best operatives the Special Forces have to offer. A squad? Ah, uh, I see. Well, this is great. Great. Yes, we are a large force, but we bring a message of extreme importance. We are heading towards you from Sector K-6 Alpha. Do you have any data on enemy forces we might encounter on the way? Over. In just a moment, I have to check. K-6 Alpha, you say? As far as I can see, there have been no enemy encounters reported in the area, Colonel. I regret. I must end our conversation here, but know that we are waiting for your arrival. I am making my report immediately, and I am sure the Minister of Defense will be eager to see you. This is a great honor! Thank you! Just a few words more, though. Uh, what is the general situation there, Major? Please. Uh, Colonel, sir, you do understand this is classified information, uh, but... I do understand you. We are doing fine. Do not worry. Well, see you in the Ark. Over and out. I serve the people. Over and out. So, do you get this now, you doubting Thomas? I'm so excited my hands are still shaking. Oh, the minister himself! This is incredible! By the way, Artyom, you should take a look at the map. As you can see, we're heading almost straight for the Yamantau complex. Katya and Kress tell me that the line there is in decent condition. <sighs> Surprising, really, taking into account the number of priority targets there. So, we can hope for a smooth sailing from here, and right to the very destination. It's not even that far, but our speed depends on the state of the track. So I think it's going to take us quite some time to get there. So, Yermak, where were we? You were saying, it's all about the results. Ah, yes. These soft-bellied attitudes must...
we are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people come wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the metro. Leaving me behind? <laughs> Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us, or else I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> A wise decision. Yermak, stop the engine. to the safe zone, and sit tight there. We do that right now! Stepan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes sir! Great, let's go!
Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. See? We're expected. Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? Everything is going as planned. <coughs> Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense. Now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. Where is the government? Answer! All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! 
calm down. We will get jaundice like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of Untie hers. my hands, you motherfucker, and I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! Not a single! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse you myself. Come here, I'll rip you all apart. Every last one of you should have done that before the war. Now we'll be full again. Good. Artyom! Here. Colonel, sir, I think that's Thank enough. You, son. But it is not. We have to get them. But first, we must find Anna. I'm sorry, I went too far with that elevator. To hell with it! Idiot! Start the main elevator up! Ready! Elevator on the sir. move! ETA, Hit five minutes! Cover. Yes, sir! Well done! We can hold up for that one! Even the lift is the same, exactly. True, and quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, 
You come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay.
Artyom, I knew! Behind you! There is always one like you! 
A hero! You're not saving anyone! Just like the others! So just freeze! Yes, yes! Then Let just, him just go! Don't kill me! Now! Uh, remember what I told you! There was an ex- Enough chatter! <laughs> Are you all right, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the Colonel. Dad, it's me. Anna, are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me. Let's go! Not too fast, though. I need to catch my breath a bit. This whole situation, though. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that's Zelantius with his damn fanatics. But no, it appears there was still space for growth. We could have gotten killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. in Moscow. Those keep people on the ground with their deceit. But these... All right, but what do we do I'll now? damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? Their defense sites, HQs... All the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up worked for at least a few years after the war. What's down there? It's Caspian One, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <laughs> Are you going to drag us to some other bunker? I don't now? know, Anna. We have to make the decision to get. 
Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving. One moment. Uh, I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on! Okay, all done. I don't think you should have put it like that, Anna. It all worked out this time, didn't it? It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't? You're right, of course. But do you intend to live forever? <laughs> of course not. All the more reason to strive and spend more time of what is allotted to me with that guy over there. I've grown attached to him. I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka! I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <laughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites! What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. <coughs> if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> Could well be. 
But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Huh? Sound the horn, then! <coughs> Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know, but what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst, and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. I don't like this welcome either. Let's go. They stopped in that village there. Looks like somebody lives there. I see. How are the men doing, Demir? Stepan is the worst off. The others are not so well either. Oh, only us here are still in fighting shape. Thank you. Ada, you and Demir reconnoitre the area. We need to find the damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. And we're all out of coal. I see. We'll need to address that, too. Anna, Demir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. Sam, do. get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Artyom. We have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Crest, can your rail car pull the train? It might, but really slowly and not for too long. The engine is too weak for the weight and... We, we don't have much diesel left. Well, if we had enough diesel, the Aurora wouldn't be needing any help. How so? Its firebox was originally designed for taking coal, but it also has high-temperature lining and liquid fuel jets installed. <laughs> Why didn't you say so before? Because you never asked. Is the injection system in working order? I would need to check it. Well, take rest and run the checks. Oh yeah, we'll take care of your chick chuck, no problem. But uh, that ain't giving us no diesel. Hmm. Judging how the locals drive around, it will be much easier to get our hands on diesel than coal around here. Uh, what about the water? Can't run without it, but our tanks are dry. Let's handle problems in the order of their appearance. All right, let's go check those fuel sprinklers now. I bet they all need cleaning or something. Let's go.
you find the premises, idiot. Looks like it used to house a ticket office and lockers. Full of garbage now. Could use some cleaning. Damn, the sun is having a ball today. Okay, set up the perimeter. You, get to the back of the train. Idiot, you get the engine. I'll clean the place up, and then we'll bring Step on. It's cooler than in the train. Your word is law, my liege. Shall I commence now? <laughs> commence! Okay, I be off then. Are you going out? Look here then. This is something I finished just now. Well, I hollowed out a couple of Tihar bullets and filled them with explosive. Some explosive ammo right there. Now you can do it yourself. It's quite simple. Don't forget to clean your guns regularly with all the sand around. Do you see that building with the antenna? The car went that way. Be careful out there, though. We don't know what to expect from the locals.
made a mistake coming here. I surrender! <laughs> so, there's probably no chance to have a chat with the owners of this car. What a shame they're so silent. Though, had I had a car like this, I wouldn't want to give it up either. <laughs> in my book, driving beats walking in this heat any day. <laughs> Which reminds me, you've got a good test drive opportunity. <laughs> While you were playing in this sandbox, I found some antennas. And the communication center should have them.
Uh, I think it's at that lighthouse, so you should head there. The lighthouse is so huge, we can't miss it. I have to stay and keep tabs on the area for a while, but once I'm done, I might join you there. See ya!
Who are you, Mircea? I, I know not you at all. You come check on us, yes? From Baron come from tower, yes? Forgive, Mircea. I stupid slave. No, nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. Master up there, yes. Master, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. 
strength to work good give us all warmth to live through cold long nights hello could i only Why you are? What here do? Who let? Master, no expect you. Go away. No go there. Oh lady, you can't. Holy flame will punish. You know listen. Do how you want. You damn now bitch. idea. Do you even care? <laughs> we have them by the fucking balls. The knot is with them too. He's a good sweater. They keep their asses better than we ever could. The knot, lazy bastard, sleeping in the shade of that yet. So what? Let them fucking sleep. Even if some fool runs off in the desert, he'll be back with his tongue out like a filthy dog. Begging to let him in for a cup of water. Or the hunters bring him. You're so negative, you make me want to puke. Puke? Now, that's an idea. Fuck you! <laughs> I think there's someone above us. See?
I'd be tired of checking every corner. And we could blow up here like nobody's business. Plus, all the traps seem sprung already, anyways. This spot just sucks. her for each of them.
those dogs, then drink some tea! Is everything quiet? Are they all dead? Come up here then! You want me? You killed my enemies, so I think you're a friend. Doors blocked. Wait till I lower the lift. Are you Artyom? Come in. Whoever kills the Munai by Lair is my friend. The Munai by Lair, as we call them, turned my people into slaves. Wanted to put me in shackles too. <laughs> Better death. Here. For five years, nobody would come here save for Moon Eye by Lair. Kill. What do you know of the antennas near your lighthouse? There used to be a comm center before the war. My mother worked there. She was an officer. The facility is long abandoned. I went there after war to look for Mom's traces, but found nothing. Abandoned? Kill. We helped you. So could you help us in return by leaving our man inside? Good. I will help. Artyom, you have to find the Archive. It should be near the command center. Look for shots taken after the war, starting with the year 2013. Demir will soon be there. You can count on him. Miller, over and out. If we go, we'd better go now, before more of them arrive. Use the workbench if you need to fix something. There are all kinds of danger. A smart man wouldn't go there. You seem smart, but you do not have choice.
Ready? No. Make haste then, we don't have much time. Before war, this place was beautiful. See, I was five then. My mom was young, alive. Now it's just desert. All the beasts changed into freaks. And people became beasts. My people became chattel. Not by themselves. The oil dogs made them. The oil stayed even though the sea dried out. Old people died. Only the young remained. And they all obey their masters now. The Munai by Lair say they're gods of fire now. And the young believe. Five years after the war, my mother died. I was all alone. I know how to open the door, so I've been there. But I never went deep. There are spiders. <laughs> See the passage? You go through. I'll follow. long gone. We need to turn it on to open the gate. The door won't open till we get the power on. Take the left turn. There's a narrow passage there. I'll stay here. Someone must keep the power going. If you see Mom's picture, bring it. I'll be thankful to you as long as I live.
Just finished moving into the old lighthouse. Staying with Gul in that hole any longer is out of question. New gas geysers keep sprouting daily. The whole bunker could collapse any moment now. There's nothing to hope for. Nobody knows why we are even here anymore. We certainly can't do any work. I only go down there for the pittance that passes for rations nowadays. I'd like to believe that it's safer on the surface, but who am I trying to fool? The people are famished. Every day brings news of new attacks and murders, ever more violent. All my thoughts are with you now. I can't believe this nightmare is the world she's going to live in from now on.
now, when we finally have the data on all of the largest city agglomerations, it is obvious that our hopes to find one that had somehow been spared attack were unfounded. Moscow was apparently hit especially hard. The new data confirms that fallout makes it completely impossible to live there. Only Novosibirsk might be marginally worse, where- Mommy, look at what I drew! Oh, uh, who is this? It's me, I drew this, look! Oh, that's a great picture! Senior researcher Kakimova, please, take the child outside. This is a briefing, after all. Come, you. You can't come in here, come. Show me the picture outside. While we're waiting, I suggest we take a look at the enemy territory. Here, and here. This is, obviously, city lights. If not for Directive Online, if we had any means of communication, we'd have to report the coordinates immediately as a target for the follow-up strikes. The lift did its job! So we have to take them back to the Colonel. By the way, I, I brought your car. It's at the dock. It's amazing the lift still works with all the cracks in the bunk. Mother told me they had to repair many times. And other things too. Keprakme. Thank you, Artyom. This is for you. 
Father gave it to me when I was little. Damir says there's a little girl on your train. Give it to her. May it bring her luck. You people are lucky. Most of the Monaibaile are raiding all their best troops. If they were all here, you'd be dead already. But now, we have a chance to change things. Ah, Munai Bailer translates to something like oil rich people. Oil drillers, I guess. Listen to me. I'll tell you where to go now. When outside, go right. The road there used to lead to the sea, to port. Anna should be around there. Contact her. She probably found something interesting. <laughs> I'll stay and try to find out more about these oil drillers. We'll contact the base as soon as I get any useful information. Tell me, Yule, how did this Baron come to power here? My people chose their fate themselves. What? Become slaves of their own will? Yes, they did. The Moon Knight by Lair told them they'd protect in exchange for their work, and they agreed. The Moon Knight by Lair told them to worship the Holy Flame, and they agreed again. Hmm, well, they did not have much choice then. They had a choice. To fight. To fight and die, but not be slaves. Not everybody is ready for that. One must be ready. I'm always ready. And that is why you fight alone. Ha! <laughs> Even alone, I can get the Baron. Suppose you do get him. What next? I'll think of what to do once the Baron lies dead. Makes sense, I guess. You go, Artyom. Good luck to you. You should go, Artyom. We'll talk later. Well, see ya, Artyom. Good luck. Goodbye, Artyom.
It all happened so fast. We didn't even have time to abort and load. Storm wasn't even that strong at first, but uh, then it picked up. Boy, did it pick up. We started adding more mooring lines, but then the gangway got torn off. It kind of died down by the morning, but the comms were off. And then while we were running about, looking at the damage, the water kind of ebbed down, sandbanks all over the place. Well, as soon as we cast away, we ran aground. Big time. Tried freeing ourselves and got gouged on the rocks. Badly. The only good thing was that there was not enough water left to sink in. The combs were still off, and it wouldn't be much use anyways. No tug could get us out now. Looks like we're all alone here. And there's more oil spilled around us than water now. Nothing to listen to. Oh, fuck. Don't, don't shoot. Don't shoot, man. Just a fucking baron ranting again. Wait a minute. Are you one of the newcomers? The ones with the train? I wonder who these newcomers are. Must be a fun gang if they manage to piss him off like this. <laughs> I'll be damned. Hey, hey, come on in. Make yourself at home, brother. Not that he's not permanently pissed every day regardless, shouting at his flankies. <laughs> and their fault could have flipped him one any day, like I did. I don't get many guests with all the spiders around. They packed the hold full of the Baron's flankies bones already. Well, you must be real lucky to have gotten here in one piece. When I had to run from the gang, I hid here and spent ages watching the damn critters. I thought I was a goner, but it turned out they were afraid of light. So I settled here for good. Now I make my living by collecting the guns and gear from the idiots the spiders catch, and they don't mind. Then in my free time, I just scan the radio, so I know pretty much everything that's going on around these parts. These bandits blabber about everything on air. Then again, there's nobody to eavesdrop. Slaves don't have radios. So, as soon as they noticed your train, the Baron got all his people running around in circles. He, he thinks you're here to take him out. <laughs> now, you tell me if that Baron is all right upstairs. Certainly looks completely insane to me. A classic case of persecution complex and the delusions of grandeur. <laughs> Say someone did come to take him out. Real classy, like driving a, a fucking train. Fine, let's give him that. But why would they stop at the old station then, eh? They could stop the train right at the castle gate and have at him. But logical thinking is not among Baron's faults. He's too grand for that now, huh? <laughs> Which will turn out to be his undoing in the end, I think. I will say, though, that if you really do take that barren bastard out, the whole desert will be kissing your footprints until the end of days. Not to mention my personal thanks. <laughs> well, I've been ranting for too long. <laughs> Have some rest. Use the workbench if you like. In general, make yourself home, as I said. <laughs> I'll uh, stay on the radio in the meantime. You gave some bandit asses a kicking at the lighthouse, didn't you, eh? Well deserved and timely. Kuhl was a menace for the Baron since forever. She spent years inciting the locals to rebel against him. But now, since there are basically no free locals left, I would have gone easy on the troublemaking were I in her shoes. But she didn't, so they finally found her base. Only to have you rain on Baron's parade, eh? Huh? <laughs> yeah. So he wasn't cautious of you for nothing after all. <sighs> Thanks, man. 
You really don't need a gun at the ready here. some news on the radio. Someone paid a visit to the Baron's metal salvage. His grunts are in an uproar. They say there was a whole gang. Something tells me, though, that it was the work of one man. Maybe even someone I know. <laughs> I've no idea what you would want from that place, but the fun was worth it. <laughs> Thanks for the giggles. <laughs> the dealers must still be running around looking for their attacking gang. Keep going like this. Just gauge your wrists before you end. There's a bad pursuit. What was I going on about? Ah, this. Keep going like this. Just gauge your wrists before you end.
This dust will be the end of me. Look at my lair here. Didn't have such luxury back in Moscow. Still, this place is too hot. I feel I'm coming down soon, like Stepan. In any case, here's what I learned. See that crane at the dock? There is someone in the cabin. Can't see him that well, but I think he noticed me as soon as I arrived. That seems like a great spot to keep tabs on our base, so you should check it out. Look at that cracked ship now. The largest one, closest to the water. See? Well, it's not cracked, but rather carefully dismantled. I saw trucks carrying cages arrive at that boat. Looks like this is where the bandits keep their prisoners. There's that building over there, past the port. Looks like an air control tower, but I'm not sure. In any case, there should be a lot of equipment there. Something might come in handy. Oh, I see you got the maps. You and Amir did a great job there. <coughs> I'll keep watching the rigs, and you can choose your next goal. I wish I could wash off all this sand already. I hope we get out of this desert soon. If you're going to the port, there's a convenient zip line on the roof. Be careful out there, all right?
job here! Come on! Come on, inside! Artyom, I have Amir on the line here, so take his seat. I'll be with you soon. What, what a storm! Made of sand, no less! But damn the sand! Alright, Miller, over and out. You got them! Great job, Artyom! Great news! Our team got the maps! Well done, Great. Artyom! That is such a relief. Idiot! Get started with this. I'll join you later. Here. There's a lot Give of data. Seat. The sooner we analyze it, the better. We have the maps. Now we have to find a way out of this place. And that's the hard part. We need water for the Aurora and the crew, as you can see. Stepan, Duke, and Alyosha are done with dehydration already. We also need fuel. The local bandits have it all. I had already contacted their so-called Baron, but his terms proved to be... unacceptable. He'll hold us where they get the water, but naturally, the well is guarded. The mirror reconned the place, and says we could infiltrate it stealthily. So, Artyom, when you're ready, go rendezvous with the mirror. Your goal is to bring water to the Aurora. Failure is not an option. Good luck, Artyom. I... We are all counting on you. Crest, how's the weather? The storm seems to be over. I'll go back to the post. Perfect. Artyom, while you were out, I finished making one more thing for the Tihar. The workbench is at your service. Uh, so, did you try the new ammo out? Should work great with all this oil around. I figure the Holy Flame would be pretty happy with them. Hmm? <laughs> I'm feeling kind of under the weather. Not my best day ever. And I'm not doing that poorly, all things considered. I think we can last another couple of days like this. Maybe. We need water. We really do. Oh, that's about it. What have you got, idiot? What can I say? We clearly didn't come here in vain. Got it all figured out? Sure seems so. The radiation levels are plotted in color. They even have the radiation level dynamics here. When is it from? Hmm. Yeah, a bit old. Well, let's hope the situation didn't deteriorate since then. Which maps have we got? Central Asia, Western Siberia, the Urals, the European part of the country. Aha, I see. Yeah. No Far East. Weird. I see two options here. Either the Far East was out of the satellite center area... Or... Or somebody snatched all the maps of the East before us. If that is the case, they still left plenty for us. Where should we look, Colonel Sir? I forget about the large cities. They were priority targets. Still, going for the deepest end of nowhere isn't too attractive either. But this place seems clean. Nah, no wonder. It's just a step. What if we go north? North, uh... No good. See? There's a lot of fallout here. Should have gone milder after 20 years, Grand but... Grand don't you have any water? Uncle Artyom, is this for me? Wow, thank you! Look, Grandpa Yermak, I have my own canteen now. Well, now we will have to ask for some water. Then you'll have your own untouchable reserve. Wow, thank you!
woods on the canyon near the spring where the stray tribals attacked our boys. Eva, there's my word nothing more than an asswipe to you. It was good that the slaves used to multiply there without us lifting a finger. But you should have harvested before they went back. And what do we have now? Tribals attacking the gods of fire! But that means extermination! Thank you, As you were, everyone, the Baron has spoken.
Nah, there's nobody around. Who'd even go here and what for? Would any tribals help their own? <laughs> Look, why don't we just off the fucker? No responsibilities. What else could it be? Oh, what are they even thinking? Making us do the rounds here. We can bear and protect ourselves. Much less be of any use. with your hands above your head! Cover me! 
I've laid down my weapons already! Who cares if he got drunk? 
While you were away, I scouted it out a bit. As you might suspect, we're approaching the spring through the back door. Tule says lots of people used to live in these caves. Uh, there was basically a real town. But then the geysers opened up and they all had to flee. Let's go! <gasps> well, the bridges are burnt now. Let's climb a bit higher to get a better look around. The cave isn't going anywhere. Yeah, this place is totaled. When setting out, I kind of had hopes of finding something about my people, if not my relatives. But now I find out. And it hurts. Steady, steady. Even if this town is empty, still, thank you for dragging us out of Moscow, Artyom. At least I see this with my own eyes. Aha! Uh -huh. Right at the entrance. Get ready, Artyom. Charge the torch, check the filters and other gear. I have this feeling, a vaguely unnerving one. Well, to hell with the feelings. Here, let me give you a boost. a dumb thing. <sighs> oh, wait! Artyom, masks on! Oh, they toughed it out here for so long. 
some time. I wish we'd gotten here earlier. Ah, a cave in. We're in luck though, there's still some space left. Oh, how many people lived here? Everything is built up. Uh, well, let's try walking around. Passage to the spring! Let's go! Another cave in! My filter is almost done for! Look! Light! Well, it's a crawl from here on. 
Gil says the locals follow every word the oilmen say. So, let's try to do it quietly, without the unnecessary bloodshed. The slaves are innocent. Look, water. See that car? I'll move there and hide behind it. The gate is controlled from that tower. When you open it, I'll rush the car through and you leap atop the tank. Good luck, and try not to kill anyone but the oilmen, alright? Artyom, you open the gate 
and I'll bring the car in. Yeah, so much for stealth. At least they got their just desserts. <laughs> What do the slaves do now? Where do they go? I checked the car already. It's in order. We've got enough gas in the tank to take us to the Aurora, too. Many know you, your lady. Finally lost them. Well, at least we didn't hurt the <sighs> Looks like they aren't giving chase. Time to get back to the Aurora. You tired? No wonder. All right, brother. Have some rest.
Oh, we showed them all right, didn't we? Yes, we did. The thing is, their army is in a massive raid now. And this is just... Hmm, the Baron sending his regards. How many of them are there? 700, I think. Whoa. Yeah, we locked out here. And we'd better not overstay our welcome. We won't get far burning twigs. Five clicks at best. The dogs have fuel. Lots of it. A full tanker carriage on the rails. If we open gate quietly, we can steal it. They shouldn't have many guards now. Can you guide our men? I can. Let's get to business then. Yermak, Crest, you prepare the Aurora. Finish filling the boiler with water and drain the car's tanks. Artyom, Damir, you get the most important part. Stealing that tank. Yes, sir. Good luck, gentlemen. Nana, idiot, Tokarev, we're breaking camp, people. Don't forget to check your gear and prepare before you set out. Maybe we should kill the dog here with them. Hi, our hero! <laughs> Hi, Artyom! Well, it's all gonna be okay now. We can't lose now that we have water. <laughs> you guys did great! Artyom, watch out while on the mission. We'll be praying for you. Oh, come on. It's Artyom we're talking about. He's made of steel. Just listen to him walk. But yeah, man. You better keep both your eyes open, Artyom. Artyom, the car's near the Aurora. Yermak, you sure the pipes will hold? Yeah, we Artyom, we're fixing to leave already, but there's one thing that keeps nagging on me. Remember that dismantled ship I told you about? I can't stop thinking about the slaves they keep there. Do you think we could still free them? If not us, then who? <sighs> so tired of this dust. Can't wait to get out of here. Don't take dumb risks there. I need a live husband, not a dead hero. Listen up, everyone! The Baron... Fuck off, dumbass! All right, 
Everyone in second reserve. Assemble after me. Now for a parade or something. Uh -huh.
meet you all. That's fucking you. Fucker. I'm sure I saw some shit move here. Huh? Hey, what was that? Let's see. Well, yeah, sure. Nothing. Fucking usual. Uh. <coughs> well, nothing again. Go figure. Come out, you little bitch! Then we'll kill you so that way it don't hurt much. <laughs> up there.
Oh, so you brought him. Finally. Get lost now, you cretins. Hey, wait a minute. Who the hell is this? Ah, one of the newcomers. <laughs> All right, you may go. We have something to talk about. Well, young man, now we can talk with masks off, huh? I take you didn't expect to see me here, huh? <laughs> it's hardly surprising. Nobody would expect that. So, the cretin that he is, sometimes does show surprising creativity. I have to give him that. Destroying what remains of the resistance, getting rid of the witch and rooting out treason in one fell swoop. This plan has... grandeur. So that's why I'm sitting here, I don't even remember since how long, looking at my property and listening to my double on the radio. Uh, that double has a way with the radio, I must say. Using him as a mere clay pigeon even seems like a waste. Oh well. <laughs> if anything, there's too many talents among my people. See this portrait? Does it even look like me? Of course it doesn't. The artist is a prime case of one talent too many. This cretin painted this off my double. Should have been a spitting image of me. But I don't even recognize this face. I can't remember where the painting came from either. No matter, though. Let's talk about something else. Guests and trains, for example. <laughs> oh. We've been waiting for you. We do have ears in the West, just like you have... used to have here. Don't take it personal, but all of your spies had to burn for offending the Holy Flame. <laughs> a man's got to know his limitations, you see. I have a right to laugh at that bullshit because I invented it all. I don't remember when, though. 
But that don't matter. What matters is that even I keep the facade up when there's slaves around. And anyone so crass as to publicly, in public, offend the Holy Flame is an enemy. Is that clear? You people should learn subtlety. <laughs> then we might even cooperate. I doubt you were sent here for nothing, after all. Hmm? There are some rumors. Oh, don't be surprised. There are rumors about you already. <laughs> and here's what they say. Huh. Freeing the slaves. What a noble pursuit. Now, having had their fill of freedom in the desert, with no equipment or protection from mutants, the survivors will finally understand what it is they really need. A human is... Essentially, a simple being with very basic needs. Some food and water, a modicum of protection from the desert of reality that surrounds us, and what is most important, purpose. Serving the will of the Holy Flame. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Young man, I must say, you never disappoint me. Was it you who stole our water, Bowser? No. Don't bother denying it, I know everything. Well, hey, no harm, no foul. The slaves will have to drink a bit less for some time, that's all. Do you really expect my double would even consider not topping up his swimming pool over that trifle? <laughs> Power must dazzle with extravagant displays of affluence. Even the comedian sitting on my throne understands this.
You came over to steal our shit? Who the fuck are you taking us for? Didn't we fucking tell you, motherfucker? That all we sit here is ours. We've got to hit again. Well, you fucking had it coming. Come out, you bitch! We'll open you up! Like it's that so? We need a medic! Eat a grenade, you bastard!
Artyom, we took a look around. The main gate is guarded by a skeleton crew. You cannot go through gate. Go through the prison cellar where the Munai Bailer keep the slaves. Uh, <laughs> yes. In any case, the plan is this. Gyul and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them, while you get in through the underground. <sighs> Let's go. We'll walk with you. Don't lag behind. I have a favor to ask. If possible, don't kill the slaves. They're not... They just obey the Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. Gul is right about the locals. Here. This place. They're just kids, and all have been under brainwashing for ages. So we probably should take pity on them. So, a great? Well, let's do this. All right, I'll raise it and you get through. Up there. No use. Nobody go. Nobody fool. We stand here all day here. You suck. Better go hunt, find some food, make slave more use that way. You said right, completely. Very right. Faster, fuck! You work or you go after dog! Ha <laughs> ha! I understand. Dog not pity. They don't know what to do. They torture dog and laugh. Little dog can't grow. Get eaten by other dog. Are you okay? Oh, great. I was worried for nothing. I, I have good news. Look, the tank is full. Just what we need. Um, there is also bad news. The gate is locked and we can't take it out. 
Colonel, sir, Tamir here. We have secured the tank, but encountered uh, a problem with the gate. Copy that. We're going with plan B, then. Act accordingly. See, the cable connects the gate and the top of the tower. How do we get there, though? Oh, it looks like a veritable fortress. Gentlemen, surely you're not seriously intending to attack our fortress. I do respect your courage, but simply throwing your lives away, such a waste. Who is in charge between you two? Come up here. We have things to discuss. Just you listen to that bastard talk. A complete about face. And we did throw a wretched into his plans big time. Point that gun down and come up. Otherwise, we'll have a pointless bloodbath on our hands. Open the gate and let our guests in! Look. Come on! We won't even touch you! Unless you really ask for it. Mm, I don't like this, but... Yep, that's there it. is no other way. Look at that if we don't get out of this desert, we we're as good as dead. Good luck, what the fuck are you saying? If I I'll fucking hear one more word about that bitch girl! Talk with him about. Get over here! Down. There's too many of them Go to around them stinkers and just get to the next floor. Slaves, even some women. And the boss hates stench. Oh, but you fucking catch it. Um, you must be one of the playing games. Game. Just you take a fucking look at the beauty Vint is making for the boss. It's not just any well, you just fucking pull it! Put your back into it! Why the fuck did we beat you yesterday? I'm sorry, master! I'm your slave! It was not on purpose! Shut up! Come on! What's taking so long? Come over here already! Let me fight too! Why? Yes, you fucking stay there. Make it a whore. Drink mustard's water. Gotta give her a lesson now. Forgive me, Uli Mirsa. You're a dog! Shut the fuck up! Less than a dog! The water is for people! Ah, fuck it! What's going on? There is... Stupid! Kill them! He was down there. Hey, somebody's moving the head. Holy flame, save me from this shaitan that comes to kill us. So he can't burn me. I'll find you wherever you are. He's hiding in here. So turn the place inside uh, out. Work all day, no rest at all. This is no rest. Come on, show yourself. Many know him. Kill Lady. I'm right! The I'm enemy is on that ladder! I see him! I, I see him! Down. Down. down! There he is! Up there! You are opening fire! Don't see the hostiles! I'm right! Many know that you're lady! Kill them! Artyom, get 
Get ready. We must kill these dogs. This is for you, dirty worm. Him. He's up there. Jules was talking about. What the hell is going on there? Get out of there! I'll send people to cover your retreat! The door's giving! Let's give it a shove, Artyom! Stop! You wanted to create a new world? With me? Not happening! Your misguided attempt! I called her! Take the Baron! It's the strongest who survives! Fuck you, your head's in the way. You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Uh, let's go, Artyom. Thank you for helping my people. I'm in your debt forever. <laughs> You're back, my love. I was so worried.
Fanatics on the banks of Volca. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. Slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves and now we're stuck with them forever. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We are getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. Coughing. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kinda dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in, and from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much, but I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone, took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter and we went to the ocean together. Then, my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going, not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, but what are they? Higher rank, he could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. 
I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go, and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. What do you know? Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, <laughs> and much deliberation, we've found a place we could call our new home. It is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations, everyone. Yeah. 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 Yet, this is not our last order of business for today. Stepan, Katya. Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold you from this day forward. For worse, for better or for worse. For richer, <laughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in, and in health. health. To love and to cherish to and until to cherish death was part. To us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and go! go, 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 go. go. 
Gorka! Gorka! said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said I How can you long. believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand. So that might be the reason. Katya, Arthur, a few words. I'm all right, Artyom. Go. I'm fine now. I don't know about this. So, son, care to tell me what Arno, do we do please. now? Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid matter into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for yes. lungs. I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it My been My thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Anna coughed up some blood. My god. Do you really think it's the sand? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For Anna's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If Anna's state worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for I'll us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer, and go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. Poor girl. Now I understand why she was so down lately. Just imagine thinking about all that for so long. So, what is the jury's verdict? <laughs> now here are your orders, everyone. First of all, stay calm. The plan stands. We head for that valley with its fresh air and clean water. Then we go about settling there. Yeah, if Anna's health... Dad, please. I repeat, Anna, in case you start getting worse, there's a drug Katya told us about, so we can go and find it for you, if it is needed. Hmm, that sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on, you didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yamantau. 
Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right, a toast to you guys. Just be happy together. Great oh, to you! Yeah. Yeah. Stefan, will you play the song of Elta? <laughs> Easy as pie. Квасин приехал на фронт со своей молодой женой. Полковник Васин созвал свой полк и сказал им, пойдем домой. Мы ведем войну уже 70 лет, нас учили, что жизнь это бой. Но по новым данным разведки... I can't say I've ever been religious, but right now I'm begging all gods, please, watch over Anna and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there, though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission. Yes, I must say, I'm rather partial to this valley. Take care for one. Makes your head swim. Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just cure Anna. It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. Damn, this is one bumpy ride. The rails are all bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and tell them to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. Sir, this track won't hold the Aurora. Take the main one. Over. The general situation is completely awesome, Colonel. Sir, Alma is sure to love it here. Over. So the plan goes like this. We get to that dam, check it out quickly, and call them over. Just take a look at all this beauty, huh? Don't you want them to see it sooner? Look at that church for a while.
Scott, your friend, but I can see you're two are not bandits. I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. Gotta run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Catch you later. The fuckers tied me up so tight I can't feel my arms! Uh, I owe you a big one, and I'll never forget this, I swear! Uh, these forest fuckers just left me here for the wolves! 
I don't seem to recognize you. Which barrack are you from? You sure have some nice gear. In any case, don't go there alone. I tried, and, well, you know what happened. Ah, these bitches hiding like fucking lizards. Ah, I found a way in and was going back already when the fuckers jumped me. Fuck. Ah, fuck. Both legs went to sleep. Can't even move now. Ah, I'll wait here till they wake up and go bring the boys. We have a good chance to get a drop on them forest fuckers now. We'll tear them apart like fucking rags. <clears throat> Just look, man. Tell me, which barrack are you from after all? I thought I knew everyone. Are you even from our camp? Ah, uh, well, if you're not one of ours, I'm in your debt anyways. Thank you, man. <laughs> As for these fuckers... If you want to get through their territory, you have to move like a ghost. Though, uh, you look so tough, you could take them all out by yourself, I bet. So if you see any of them fuckers, do them all in. They have it coming to them for hanging our boys from those posts. Avast! Stop right there! It's the brethren of the coaster! Take another step and we run our rig on you! Aye! Another step and you die! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, so beat it, you scallywag! 
If you know what's good for your ground-loving ass, even one of you drifters we caught today is too much! Aye! Be a good doggy and get lost! <laughs> Besides, how would they know? 
Well, they're probably picking on us all the time, like we're picking on them. What do you mean? Like I did. I picked on Olga. She was taking a dip in the lake and didn't notice me. Man, the rack on that girl. <sighs> yeah, she's amazing. I wish she's got time with those cards. By the way, why did I get my hand on the phone? Come in. <laughs> trying to contact you. What happened? Artyom, please. Come in. <coughs> Over. Are you two all right? God. <coughs> Come in, guys. Please. Over. Don't worry so much, Anna. They've only been off the grid for a couple of hours. Let's take their line. <coughs> Anna, they did say that the line is barely able to support their rail car. It's shaking so much. Their large radio could have malfunctioned, and the portables aren't powerful enough. They could have run into something. Oh, look how many fallen trees are there. God. <laughs> you should just lie down. There's no use sitting here. Artyom, Alyosha, get in touch with us as soon as you can. Or just wait for us at the dam. Over. Artyom, did you read that? Please, be there. I beg you. Over and out. <laughs>
Doctor, I'm not an enemy to you. Huh? All right. Shoot. I'm not afraid to die. Teacher, I come to you to face the final exam. I am ready. I wasn't a coward. Huh? Are, are you going to shoot? What do you know? So it is true that not all intruders are bad. No wonder Olga is protecting one of ours. Says we can't kill him without a sentence by the forest court. He seems good. Okay, do. <laughs> Hurry, you could help him. Just don't kill our people. They're all nice, really, all of them. It's just that we had to defend ourselves too often. He was not alone. Yeah. All right. Let's cut the rope and take him to the camp with the first one. Hey, wait a minute. You pioneers already have one, and this is our catch. He got caught on our turf. The net is mine, so bite me. Oh, yeah? Well, why did you set the trap on our turf then? Uh, besides, you already have an intruder's backpack. I dived for the backpack, and you chickened out. Oh, I chickened out? You're pirates! You have more boats! And this one will face the forest court! Bojumoy, you're all cowards! He's an intruder, an enemy! What are you, a bandit? What did the teacher say? He said we must be different. Did you forget? Uh, isn't your head getting a bit too big? The teacher said we have to defend ourselves first. All the rest was later. Did you forget what the intruders would do here? He's an intruder too, so he must die before he brings the others. Enough! The forest court comes first. The court will decide if we kill him. <laughs>
So you got out, you asshole. It takes real skill to get away from the master of the forest. This means you're dangerous. Damn it. Fucking backpack. I got greedy. I got greedy. Well, shoot me. Or scram. I gotta get ready for the final exam. Tell the teacher. I defended ours. Didn't chicken out. Didn't bully the girls. Teacher, I'm here. not to see the master. He can walk silently. And we were distracted. Another intruder got caught in the trap. And Eugene got excited and started demanding all the loot, or at least the boots. Another intruder? Where did that all get in the I didn't even come with us. Well, the way he I didn't detect the intruders. First, I only had to shoot once and I kept my eyes shut that time. And it was you who attacked us and raped and killed. We were only defending ourselves. You won't shoot. Well, if you're not going to shoot, then it's true that some intruders are kind of okay. We are pioneers. We only kill the bandits. The pirates, though, they just turn intruders into pincushions, not waiting for the forest court. They also rob, like bandits do. We are different, even though we grew up together. We do as the teacher told us to, but they misinterpret his words. to the camp. He didn't look like a bandit either. They'll probably let him go after the forest court. Besides, Olga likes him and she's an instructor. Just don't kill our people in the camp. There are women and children. Don't hurt them, please. You can go around the guards, through the cave, or by boat. Just don't hurt anyone, please. <laughs> It's gonna snap! Hey! Am I teaching you how to do nothing? I'm not! So you stay out of my business! I just want to help! It's totally going to snap! You already did help once! You're lucky you still have a bomb! So I made a mistake! Do I have to sit here you for the rest it. of my life now? You don't respect the teacher's words! What is that supposed to mean? You let an intruder go. Leave the others here. We saw all of our positions here. Nobody let him go. He escaped. The guard was distracted, and 
and he's being punished. <laughs> well, more intruders come and start cutting you to pieces. That's going to be a great help. Yeah, you'll be running around pissing your pants and shouting, we punished the guard. Or maybe you'll just surrender. Running at your forte, you said you were going to hold the lumber mill and ran. Don't you dare! The boys died... your pants. Now we'll have to board the train. Better than waiting for their attack. Remember the teacher's word. We defend ourselves. Attack is the best form of defense. What? I don't remember the teacher saying that. The teacher said you have to read. So we read that in our book. Well, if you read that in your book, then you can attack. And we won't. The teacher also said that you can't just kill everyone. You have to take them to the forest court. Ah, we expected as much from you. All right, we can handle it ourselves. And we'll hang the second intruder from a post once we catch him. He's not a bandit, and he didn't hurt the girls. He only attacked himself. Why kill him? Because he's an intruder. Because he came here like a bandit, so he'll get hanged like one. Ha! The second one arrives! Bandits. You'd better Is beat it, though. Nobody will give you the time of day now when your friend I ran away. And we now, thought he was on the level. He didn't panic. States, was kind to the girls. To told Olga lots of nice words How I never even heard Bitya before. Is going to stand so we waited for the forest court. Uh, and no then idea. he escaped while I was talking Roman to Olga. Decide that when he's back. Uh, she just had to talk and talk. I just think we shouldn't and have put him there. I wouldn't mind it going for a swim with her. Lie, but it was a drift. But anyhow, now Besides, I get to sit here over his escape. I hope he breaks his legs in that church. You can't Olga's really none too good so either. It's all her fault. Someone. They didn't even punish her. Lucky the drifter just left. So you should go find him. Throat. Or just shoot me. Ah, well, that is true. Where do you think he went, that drifter? Um, Vitya said he was heading for the church. Why don't we give chase then? Well, he didn't harm us at all, really. Besides, who's gonna mind the camp if we all chase him, huh? Imagine if the master comes. Oh, I guess I didn't think this through. Eh, Vitya didn't either, and see where it got him. Learn from his mistakes, man. Yeah, I'm learning all right. In any case, he only makes it worse for himself, that drifter. If the pirates catch him, they'll just pin him to a tree. Uh, that reminds me, why do they respect the teacher? He told them in the end that they shouldn't just kill everyone. Well, yes, but the pirates think that protecting their friends, as Teacher has told them before, is the important part. And what he told them in the end is just... well... But just what? As they are the Teacher's words, after all. Of course. We have to do as he said, or else we'll turn into bandits ourselves. Do you think the pirates have already turned? They don't really defend much, but rather they attack, kill, and pillage. Maybe in hell. I think the instructor sure seems to think the same. Like the guards between Hawkins and Bears after all. Besides, did you hear them talk? They even sound like bandits. Well, if they did turn, that would be a shame. We've been through so much together. After all, they're all childhood friends.
Nick that's still going to say it. Well, why not? Diligence is a matter of success. <laughs> well, go be diligent somewhere instead of wasting time. I just finished the patrol and am now enjoying my free time, so get off my case! Free time is for rest, and you're going to lose your voice if you continue like that. What's that to you? Nothing. You could go mute for all I care, but this thing isn't going to say a word anyway. Why? Even you can talk, and it's much smarter than you, that's for sure. Ah! Ah, shut up! Stay there, I don't care. Nobody cares. You'll see, it will blow everyone's mind when it talks! Come on now, say hello! Don't worry, the two we got will talk soon. No, these fuckers 
never talk. Oh, Israel. Israel. So it's really weird them boys are taking so long there. They should have started cutting fingers off long ago. They'd have spilled their guts by now. Should start cutting heads off, not fingers. Those fuckers are hardcore total fanatics. They don't talk when you flay them alive. It's deep. Blaring the bullshit about the way they are. Yes, that's fucked up. But I wonder why is it all quiet there? Out of fingers? Hey, boom! Cut the zips off now! What are we even doing? We shouldn't have come here. It's all going... That's for sure. We're all getting whacked here. This is just pointless. Pointless, I say. What are we even doing here? What are we even doing here? It's a shitty place. It's a shitty place. This place is bad news. Any greenhorn could get me here. What are we even doing here? This is just pointless. Place. What are we even doing here? It's a Fuck. shitty place. This place is this bad is news. Just pointless. Any greenhorn could point get me this, here. I say. What are we even doing here? Fuck. It's a shitty place. This, this is place just pointless. Bad news. Shit. Pointless. Any greenhorn could get me here. Fuck. This is just pointless. What are we even doing? Fuck. This place is bad news. Any greenhorn could get me here. This is just pointless. Pointless. Fuck. This place, bad news. Any greenhorn can get me here. What are we even doing here? It's a shit place. This place is bad news. Any greenhorn could get me here. Now you're talking. This is just pointless. Pointless place is bad news. Any greenhorn can get me here. What are we even doing? Bad news. Any greenhorn can get me here. Well, fuck that is just a good Get ready, guys! What are we even doing here? It's a shitty place. Always move, but never the good stuff. You're dead already, you motherfucker! Come out of the fuck's that up there? Yeah, it was definitely this place. And since that was right after the war, those blocks must have been nothing but a fucking bitch. What a pleasant surprise, man! It's me, your pal! You saved me just now, and I brought help! So I had a little drink here to celebrate, and overdid it. While the guys are having fun with the forest assholes, so yeah!
what, you yellow piece of shit? Or else, I don't know what, but you ain't gonna like it. I see the fucker! There he is! He's in the house!
Freeze Drifter! So, we meet again? Though I bet you don't remember who dragged you out of the water. My name is Olga, by the way. Was it you fighting the Master of the Forest? Awesome! Our hunters had been staying away from him for years. Damn it! Sorry, teacher. The locks all rusted up. Your friend Alyosha is already at the dam. He said your cardinal won't wait, so you don't have much time. Sorry, I can't take you there. At today's council session, the pirates moved to attack your train. But they had no right to even call one without me present. As usual, I need to go and sort this out. But I have a few minutes to give you some directions. You need a boat to get to the dam. And our pirates keep all the boats at their swamp camp. They are not the sharing kind, but that's no reason to attack. Nobody wants bloodshed, so just stay out of their sight. Take the road to the barricade. Go down to the swamp and find the dock. That's where Alyosha and I took the boat from. Dieter, forgive me. There are some left, but be careful. Well, Drifter, take care. And don't make me sorry I helped you people. Tell Alyosha I said hi. I'll stay a bit longer to tend to the grave of the teacher. Decided to relax a bit before the trip. That's a good idea. And I'm stuck in thought here. Once the master decided to haunt the vicinity, People all but stopped coming here, though they haven't forgotten. The teacher raised us all, taught us how to survive in the forest. If not for him, we'd all belong dead. So the girls used to come here every day, and the boys still make it from time to time. Even Roman does visit, though it was because of him that the teacher left back then. Most of us went on a trip down the river. There were just a few people left on duty in the camp. When we came back, we found it raided by bandits. It still pains me to remember the scene. Can't even describe it. <laughs> Once we and the younger group were done crying, the teacher was digging the graves alone. The elder boys were nowhere to be seen. We helped the teacher with burying ours. It was dark already when the boys returned and sat around the campfire. Roman was so covered with blood. You could only see his eyes and teeth. Then they started talking. Tracking was easy. The bandits didn't even try covering their tracks. So the boys waited till they all got drunk in their camp and shot them with bows. Then Roman knifed the wounded like they were deer. The teacher just sat there listening. I can still see his chin tremble. And he didn't say anything, anything at all. They understood what he meant anyway. Come morning he was gone, to this church. At first he wouldn't speak to anyone, 
But us girls kept checking up on him, just to bring him some berries, or ask for advice, and gradually he started speaking to us. Still he was like a different man, so distant. He never talked to the older boys anymore, though he'd reply to their letters, and to the rest of us who'd keep visiting him, he would always say we had to become their conscience, keep them from becoming monsters. But how do you do that? And they didn't stop at that either. Started calling themselves pirates, made the floated lumber mill in the swamp their private HQ. Then they started hanging bandits from the posts, calling them musts. One day they took about ten bandits alive and used them to test all the boys. Made them kill the bastards. None of ours could do it. And they all got called cowards for that. And then got ostracized. That's how the pioneers came to be. Of course, they all calmed down by now. They are talking to each other, at least. But back then, only Luda and I could speak for the teacher at the council meetings. In the end, Luda and a few boys just couldn't take it anymore and left. I wonder if they found a better place to live. I still keep checking the radio hoping to hear from them. The teacher hoped too, but that hope didn't last long. They left in July. And in September, he shot himself. That seemed to get through to Roman. He got calmer. Some of the elder guys went over to the pioneers. After all, the important thing is that we stay together. So... So now I have an important voice at the council. Cause I can kick ass if they don't listen. And not just because they are not supposed to hurt girls. A fair fight is a fair fight. Thing is, the only one I lost to in a fair fight was Roman. And even then, I gave him a blue eye he had to wear for a week. <laughs> that earned his respect. The one I had the most trouble with was the Admiral. He was Roman's right-hand man. Wouldn't leave the lumber mill no matter what. Kept saying we must defend it, if we don't want the mutants to eat the whole valley. But the radiation levels kept climbing there. Roman checked it with the counter himself. So at one council meeting, Roman and our instructors had everyone vote against the Admiral. And the pirates went on to build a new fort near the shore, where it's still okay to stay. The Admiral would have none of that. So he and his most hardcore flunkies stayed at the mill. I never heard from them again. Radiation's not to be played with. The teacher didn't burn us all for nothing. So now, without the Admiral, there is nobody who dare give me any trouble in the Council. I'll put a leash on them tonight, all right. Don't you worry. I just need some time to gather my thoughts. I don't like politics, really. You could listen to the teacher's diary if you like. He kept recording it. As if he knew. Yes, I must have heard it a hundred times already and still we let him down. We really did.
My, our luck's just getting worse for the day. What are you going on about? Not what, but whom? Do you know the drifter that the pioneers caused? Yeah, what about it? That guy got away, but the problem is he was not alone. So what? We'll catch them all anyway. Well, it seems there is something down there. shooting like there was no tomorrow. Thought it was the bandits again. Then I saw the trees falling. Someone got the master mad. I heard that too. That was definitely not one of our guys. We've no fools here. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> yeah, must have. Do you think he got away? I doubt that. The master doesn't joke around. Hey, who's there? Let's see. Something down there, see?
cut your tongue. So you can't knock on the door anymore, eh? As the teacher said, courtesy distinguishes us from bandits and other animals. Wait a moment. You're not one of ours. A bandit, then. Don't look like one. Though you never know with them bandits. Different shit every day. Am I right or what, Senya? You're always right, Admiral, sir. Uh, put a sock in it. Your nose is brown enough. Where was I? Ah, the bandit. Well, you're here. Which means that all those spineless worms and wannabe pirates are all dead. Am I right? Don't bother answering. Everyone knows I'm right. And good riddance, I say. Perhaps we should offer him our hospitality, Admiral, sir. He is a guest, even though he's a bandit. Ah, that's an idea. Take a seat, bandit. Let's have some tea. I bet you never tried anything quite like it. I gathered, dried, and brewed it myself. Can't get any help from this worthless lot. At least, they don't eat much. Hey, boys! <sighs> yeah! Trying our best, Admiral, sir! Ah, uh, quit your yapping. Making a worse racket than the damn aquas in heat. No respect for our guest, either. He can't get a word in edgewise. Don't mind them. To our meeting. That's a good tea. The fussy, ground-loving rats don't drink it, though. Radiation! Radiation! Radiation, my ass! Radiation. Just look at us! Dangerous. We're all healthy as can be! <laughs> Thanks for coming here. See how happy my boys are? We don't really have anyone to talk to here anymore. They all left We're all but forgotten here. Even Roman forgot about us. Yet he was here with us when we built this base. All the boys remember that. Don't you now? Yes, he was here! I remember. We all remember. That's right, boys. You all remember. But that bastard just forgot! And the other ground-loving rats, too! They all forgot! We're protecting them all with our lives here. At first, they were so happy. They shouted, We'll kill all the bandits! The pioneers are cowards! The teacher is wrong! We're better off attacking! Didn't they, boys? Yeah, they did! They shouted their throats sore! Yeah, louder than those bandits we shot! There you have it! My boys do remember! And those don't! You could always count on them! When you wanted someone to shout and call pioneers names, aye. But when the going got tough, and the Aquas started attacking in their hundreds, they changed their tune. Oh, radiation! Oh, it's dangerous! Oh, the girls say teacher told them to tell us that we have to get out! Well, fighting the Aquas ain't as fun as hanging bandits from the posts. You can rob the bandits when you kill them, but mutants don't have much worth taking. So who cares if they're about to eat the whole valley, right? Pathetic rats. That's who they rats. are. Ground-loving rats. A bit late to start listening to the teacher, too. Though, those rats don't care whom they listen to. Be it teacher, or the girls, if doing so gives them an excuse for chickening out. So, they all left. The cowards.
already? Oh, then leave. You're just a rat like the rest of them. After all, rats are you running sure? from a Come ship. Come in. We're moving ahead slowly. Once again, well, the track is being repaired. We are going to I stay to here you. and protect them all without as much as a word of thanks. Hey, boys. Who cares? Uh, you can't parents? really expect to we find it in the village pharmacy. Which lets more. I say, go to hell and let us have our peace and quiet. Yeah, peace and quiet. That's what we need. <laughs> That's my crew. Well, to peace and quiet, boys.
get some! Adiom? Damn, you're alive! I'm so glad to see you. And I just managed to get in contact with the Aurora. They are worried. And I get that. This place isn't as simple as it first seemed. Come, I'll show you. Let's go, Artyom. Hear the counter react? There's a hell of a lot of radioactive sediment behind that concrete. And soon, it will bring an end to this valley. Because the dam barely holds. Use your binoculars if you don't believe me. We can't stay here. Nobody can, really. Ah, well, see that zip line? Those kids built it back when there wasn't as much seepage. That's where we need to go. The old man said the Aurora will soon be on the dam. We gotta hurry. I think something's wrong at the Aurora. It seems that Anna is not doing too good. We'll know more soon. Come on, Artyom! Damn, that is a lot of dirt! Man, I gotta tell you, I met this awesome girl here. She's drop-dead gorgeous. Name's Olga, an instructor. Everyone respects her. Plus, she's pretty understanding. Believe me when I said we're not enemies. She was the one who let me go from their camp. Love at first sight. I kept telling you people about my animal magnetism. So, here's your proof. <laughs> she was so smitten. She even walked with me. And, you know, this is something new for me. I hated to say goodbye. I asked her to come with us. I can't leave them all. She's so strong. So now I have this book stuck in my head. I all think I can save all those things to me. I don't like this feeling, Artyom. There's this beast I saw. A bear the size of a freaking house. Uh, hear that? I think it smelled us. You alive there? Huh? What the hell?
Beast. Well, Artyom, help me here. Let's restore this line's tension. We're done. Olga! I told you people, they just needed passage. Are you sure you're not coming? I'm sorry, Alos. I can't just stop and leave like this. No matter how much I like you. In this case, I bid you farewell, my fair lady. Ah, the hell with it. Olga, I'll be back. I'll be waiting. Artyom, let's go! Olga! Remember what I told you! Get them out of the valley! There's death behind the dead! I just hope she convinces them! They are stubborn, right? Like children, I guess! Even though they look like these, those pioneers, huh? Ah, she'll handle them all right! <sighs> you guys really had us worried there. Anna is in bad shape. We must move. Time is short. Neither the air nor the drugs we found along the way are of any help now. The illness has progressed too far. Come! We all remained silent while the Aurora was running along the poison sea held at bay by the dam. We believed we'd be back. Now, having seen the sword of Damocles hanging over the valley, we knew it was not meant to be. Alyosha is especially worried. His Olga is there. Perhaps he will be able to warn her via radio and save the people there. What happens next? I have no idea. I am ready for anything. Anything but one thing. Anna, please, hold on. Without you, I have nothing to live for, nothing to dream about. Doubly so, since if not for that dream of mine, you'd be all right now. You know, when I found this photo of the Pacific Ocean, I just knew for some reason that we were going to go there in the end. All these rivers, mountains, deserts, they just won't do. It's ocean or bust. I believed we could make it. I did. I know I'll get there, and if I need some help, you'll be there for me. You'll save me again, won't you? <coughs> Artyom, please, stop torturing yourself. It hurts to even look at you. You and Dad, too. It's not your dream, and not his belief in the occupying forces. It's just fate. A stupid piece of cloth in the wind. Rotten concrete. An idiotic ammo dump. <coughs> Arjo, you should go. I'll give her a shot. Let her sleep a bit. Come with me, Bratucha. 
There are things to discuss. Hey! Leave your work for the moment! Come to the bridge! Stepan, come to the bridge! All right, one moment! Tell me what happened, Nastya. Did someone bully you? No. Why are you crying then? I'm afraid. Afraid? What of? <coughs> this. I have the scarf. What if it's like Aunt Anna's? <laughs> Don't worry, Nastya. You didn't breathe any gas after all. It's just a cold. We'll fix it in no time. And Aunt Anna? We'll fix her too. As soon as we find the medicine, she'll start getting better. For real? You have my word, so don't you worry. All right, I won't. My mom says the Spartans always keep their word. Olga, Alyosha here. I'm online as promised. I hope you can hear me. We did examine the dam and the reservoir. You have to leave the valley as soon as possible. At least before the rainy season starts. The dam is barely holding, and if it gives, the valley will be washed away, and everything that remains will be deadly. Leave tomorrow, or even better, yesterday. Talk to the other girls. Get them to raise the issue at the council session. Even the pirates will have to obey if it passes. Just leave me a note so that I know which end of the world to follow you to once I'm back. With this, I have to bid you farewell. At least until tomorrow. Au revoir. Seems to be bad. We haven't had any other variety in a long time. So no Take longer. a seat, Bratucha. Boy, this conversation is not gonna be simple, I think. Until today, we thought that this shot of Novosibirsk was a simple error. What's we wrong with it? The legend says irradiated zones are highlighted in shades of green, while purple highlights indicate errors. Today, though, I found some small print. The thing is, radiation levels way outside of normal operational range of the scanner are also marked as errors. <laughs> Simply put, the radiation there may well be completely off the scale. We're about 500 clicks from Novosibirsk, and the radiation wow. outside is Damn, almost as high as that in Moscow. The goddamn warhead? Ah, the shots are 20 years old. The radiation can't be quite as high now, but still. Novosibirsk is most probably. So what do we do now? I'll tell you what we do. Artyom and I will go. This is not right. the other way. We go together. No, sir. Not our way. She is my daughter. His wife. My paranoia about the occupation forces drove her into that damned bunker. And Artyom with his dream. He dragged us out of Moscow. So we too are to blame. Still, we are the Order. We are one crew and we should all act accordingly. We should all go. Discussion is closed. This is not an Order mission. It is a personal errand. Mine and Artyom's. We don't need any help. Second, we don't know the exact location of the medicine. It might be in the city center or in one of the Akadem Gorodot labs. So Anna's life might well end up in your hands, too. Third and last, wherever we might go, winter is coming. And getting the Aurora stuck in snow is what? That's something we can't allow. Do you remember what Yermak said? Remind them, please. The Railway Technology Museum at the city outskirts. We'll almost certainly find a snowplow for the Aurora there. So, gentlemen. Your missions are to search the Akadem Gorodot labs and prepare Aurora for the winter. Crew, 
Get ready for the mission. Also, we are starting constant radiation level monitoring outside. Effective immediately. Sam, you're first. Yes, sir. I think that lethal radiation levels there are actually good news for us. Uh, you mean there was nobody left to rob the drugstores and hospitals? <laughs> exactly. Unlike the towns we've been to. Colonel, sir. An update on the suits. Yes. What's the situation? I managed to assemble only two complete ones. You see? They're for Artyom and me. It's fate, that's what it is. <sighs> Will they help? Well, they'll protect you from dust. But even the dark radiation there is so high, it could... Yes, sir. Can you add more protection? <sighs> sure, Yona does have some lead sheets in store. But the suits are rather bulky and heavy as it is. We aren't exactly attending a dance party there. How much time will it give us? A couple of hours. Not enough, I think. Better than nothing. Don't worry. We'll make do. Always have. I'll add some lead shielding to the car's cabin. Try to stay inside for as long as you can out there. Thanks. Get on it then. Yes, Colonel, sir. And she was completely amazed by it. Mind you, she was a real doctor, unlike me. Katya, believe me, your mother would be proud of you. Thank you, Alyosha. I hoped I could help, but Anna's case seems to be extremely unfortunate. That gas on the Volta lost most of its punch already, but it was enough to start the destructive process. Of course, the hopes I had for the valley and its air were naive. But even the valley in the end. Yes, air, water, in the forest. It's all there. But I'm afraid not for long. A pity. The people there are actually quite nice. We'd find some common ground. Is the dam in such danger? It is. But even if it could hold out for years more, a third of the valley is already polluted with radiation. All the fallout was accumulating at the bottom of the reservoir for years and years, and now it's seeping through. Yet if the dam fails... I hope she, they, listen to my advice. Do you love her? Yes. If it is fate, you'll meet her again, definitely. Well, I'll go check up on Anna. Sure. Tell her I said hi. Ah, Artyom. You know you're just being unfair. Colonel and you take the exciting mission, and we all get the boring one. Yes, Artyom. I never told this story before, but I'd like you to listen. You see, I had this Tokarev pistol. That fail-proof thing had failed me once. It was a great gun. Powerful. Punched through any body armor you could still move in. But it only had eight bullets. And that just proved not enough. I came upon some bandits that were tormenting a family. And I just couldn't. So, I snapped and got all of them. Save for one. The fucker hit me hard. By the time the order people arrived, I was half dead. Thought they were angels. Anyhow, here's why I'm telling you this now. There are more of us now than I had bullets then. So, I'm sure we can take whatever the world throws at us and win!
So, Ratuja, out for a smoke, I see. I remember if I already told you about this. <coughs> we are not the kind of people I would meet. And that the further I go, the less people were good. So here's what my take on this is now, Ratuja. I just wasn't lucky. And now with you and the others here, I figure I just hit a jackpot with so many good people together. Thank Duke for one. He keeps boasting about how he's going to shoot enemies up, all that. In fact, when you two were at that bridge, he didn't kill the cultist. Didn't even shoot that uh, Silantius, and that is a shot I think. Anna isn't giving up. She believes in me, believes in us, and for a good reason. Thousands of kilometers of track behind us. We are finally approaching Novosibirsk, a dead city concealing her hope for life, the medicine that could save her, somewhere in its cold, irradiated heart. A year ago, we left the poisoned ruins of Moscow. And now we are about to enter another city stiff in the murderous embrace of winter and radiation. Will we ever find somewhere to live on the surface? Maybe. But for now, we're returning back into the bowels of Metro. Back to Savannah. are undamaged, and the radiation's climbing like crazy. I think there'll be no nutcases this time. The houses are undamaged, too. Sam, what's with the radiation? Eight times higher than in Moscow and still climbing, Colonel. I think we'd better not stay outside for too long here. Are you ready, Artem? Follow me! Good luck. You can rely on us. Time is short, so we're taking the direct approach. Let's refresh the plan. Yurimak! We'll take the Aurora south to the Sibirskaya cargo station. Ah, I'm Martin Esteban. Christ, Sam, Idiot, and I will handle the Institute building in Akademgorodok. We'll pay a visit to the Railroad Museum on the way. 
There might be something for the Aurora. I stay to guard the Aurora with Tokarev. Good. Artyom and I are checking the Institute's main building. Radiation is way too high here, so we'll try to get there through the metro. Well, let's get to it. Good luck, Spartans. Good luck. Good luck. Break a leg, my friend. You don't get carried away out there, because I know you. Are you going out on a mission to save Aunt Anna? Yes. Could you please watch over her for us until Artyom and I come back? Please? Of course. Teddy and I will be her guard. Will you help me, Teddy? Drive at Teddy mission acknowledged. Goodbye, Uncle Tom. Don't worry about Aunt Anna. Teddy and I will watch over her. She's sleeping. Are you leaving? Yes. I hope we'll make it in time. Anna is strong. She'll be here for you. She definitely will. Just make sure you come back. Thank you, Katya. Come in, Artyom. The attack ended. I did my best. So you don't have to worry. Her pulse is strong. She's just exhausted. She'll probably sleep till tomorrow now. Come back soon. Seeing you would be the best medicine. Good luck, Artyom. You're here, Colonel, sir. Thank you. Artyom, this is no Moscow where you could loiter outside for months. Who knows what monsters live here? So think well what to pack. I'll be waiting at the car. You ready? We are. So, Artyom, here's your chance. Our last chance to save Anna. We must make it count. Saddle up. the road. It's not squeaky clean, I'm sure. Good luck, gentlemen. We are her last hope now. Those carriages stuck here. A failed evacuation, I presume. Let's try to get into the square behind the station. The metro entrance should be there. All right, walking here would be easier, but we should minimize our exposure. So here goes nothing. Find the road to your dream. Do you wish we never set out? I can see that. Well, let's put those feelings away for the moment, Artyom. We can handle this. I 
I think we can get out through there. Hold on! We're definitely not entering the metro through here. Too much snow. Take the wheel, Artyom. I'll handle the navigation. We'd better use the map here. No time for driving in circles. All right. The map puts the metro entrance quite close to our position. should get us to the city center. They take it, but keep looking around. There might be a way into the metro on the way. Oh, so much snow. And the storm is getting worse by the minute. Weird feeling. The buildings are intact, but the city is dead. Don't you think Moscow was better, eh? Okay, turn right. There is nowhere else to go. Try the courtyard on the left. Don't rush it. We're done for if we get stuck. Go straight here. Careful, Artyom. Careful. Weather still getting worse, as well as the radiation. We can't stay here. Turn left! There! That way should take us back to the main road. God damn it! Another car pile! It seems like a tank passed through here. Let's follow it! I hope the car could take us further. We'll have to walk for people. And we'll have to be quick. The radiation's rising. The tilters won't last long. Come on! Let's go! We have to move or we're done for! We're approaching a large intersection! Watch out! The snow is deep! Oh, 
We're finally here. Let's find a way to the city center. Hmm. That's what I call a cave-in. Through the carriage. I'll help you open that. Let's do this. Skeletons all around. These have been here for at least 20 years. Let's move on and keep your eyes peeled. These guys can't hurt us, but the survivors might. We need to get to the Lenin Square station. The Institute is a stone throw from there. The metro isn't very deep here, and with the radiation so high, the locals probably didn't last long. It's a bit safer down here, though we've already taken at least triple the norm up there. The tunnels. This is just like back home. We're in our element here. What do you know? The air is breathable! Ah, mutants again! Going to have a go at us! Let them try, I say! Straightway is blocked. Take a look around, Artyom. We need to get into the tunnel next to ours. from back home. And this metro is crawling with them. I guess we can handle these. What do these things even mean? something useful. Double. 
They were surviving due to that green stuff that radio protector the military issued and then their stores ran dry but the radiation was still there and that was it Reminds one of that execution pit in Moscow, doesn't it? Eight thousand kilometers later, and we're at an execution pit again. I wonder if they were called spies too. People died a year ago at most. There might still be survivors. Stay at the ready. Come up and watch out. What could have happened? Doesn't seem like a war at all. these supports. The whole thing could collapse at any moment.
We're in a station's outskirts. Wait, I'll pop a flare. Damn. This was war, after all. Defending with these armored trolleys, and when those were taken out, they blew the tunnel up. The reinforcements never arrived. Let's go to this station. We might find something out there. Ah, our old pal, the Dushka. A full blown siege. The defenders were protecting the station entrance. There were quite a few survivors here. Until they killed each other off. Looks like that lie in Moscow did work after all. What is better, I wonder? Life built on a lie? Or death born out of truth? What? I feel... strange. Sibirskaya, a line transfer station.
so much dust. Abandoned a long time ago. Look around here, Artyom. You might find something useful. All of the metro systems were built similarly, so there should be a ventilation well here. If we move forward from here, we should get into the ventilation tunnel, and from there, to the next track tunnel. run through here, I'd notice. <laughs> Check that side out. I'll have a look here. Come out! We won't hurt you! <sighs> oh! Grab him, Artyom! Stop! Where do you think you're going? Finally! Why did you run? Come on, speak up, soldier. Identify yourself. Raven Krill Klebnikov, Oskar, Raven Response Unit. And you won't get another word from me, so you Klebnikov. can kill me now. All right, Private. We mean no harm to anyone. Just take us to your commanding officer. What do you mean you mean no harm? I'm from Oskar. Aren't you with them? Them? Yeah, I don't know who you mean by that, but if they kill children, we're definitely against them. 
So, you can take us to your commander. Mm. Why do you want to see him? We're on an important mission, details of which may only be disclosed to ranking officers. You just have to take us to them. Besides, you don't really have much choice. All right. No monkey business, mind you. This way! The station's nearby! Which station is it? Which? It's Prospect, of course. Just one section to the Institute. We're close, Artyom. All clear. Come on. Wait. You said you were close. But why do you need the Institute? <laughs> you are persistent. We're on a mission, but that's all I can tell. Mission to the Institute? But there's no more green stuff left there. Green stuff? Uh, what's that? You don't know? Wait. Which station are you from? Our team is from the Exhibition, and I'm from Polis. Huh? Where is that? It's in Moscow, soldier. Wait! And we're done here. Private Plednikov, you can come out now. Hey, where did you go? Did he just run? Uh, how are we supposed to find him now? We shouldn't have taken eyes off him. I'm here. <laughs> He's alive. It was only a couple of mutants. Are you really from Moscow? We are. I'm Colonel Miller, leader of a special task force. Artyom here is one of my subordinates. We came from Moscow on a train. Wow, this is cool. Wait a second, I'll open the gate. We had a war here, you see. We noticed that. The place you got here. Where is everyone? Dead's on a mission, and there's nobody else. 
Not since the war, anyways. Oh, so the city was tough enough to live through the nuclear war, but not the civil one. How long has it been just the two of you? Uh, almost a year. We are lucky. Had a whole box of green stuff. Like the rich guys. Wait. Artyom, a satellite map. This is the valley where Alyosha and you got lost. Hmm. Where did you get this from, Private? Stokers brought it from the SATCOM center. A long time ago. So your father is on a mission? When is he coming back? I don't know. When did he leave? A month back. And he's been off the air for the last three weeks. I see. Mm. Do you know where he went? What was the mission? He went to that SATCOM center. We were going to leave the city in the spring. He went to go get the impact map. Said, we're sure to find a clear place if we get one. Got it. Private, we need to use your radio. Artyom, let's contact the Aurora. I'm going to get that map, and we should tell them. Do you read me, Aurora? Miller here. Colonel, read you loud and clear. How did you get on the air? A change of plans. We found the survivors. They say the SATCOM center is still there. I'm going there for the map. Artyom takes the Institute. Copy that, Colonel. How is Anna doing? She's asleep. Try to make haste there. Katya says Anna's going to have another attack soon, and she's way too weak. Come again, Aurora! Over! Do you copy, Aurora? Over! again. Artyom, if his father had really found a clean place, this is a chance for Anna, for the boys, for all of us. A chance to have a real life. I'll go get that map. Meet me here once you recover the medicine. Then we'll Wait, go get the you car. you can't go outside with that anti-rad. We still have three left. Dad was saving them for our escape from the city. Great. Thank you. Artyom, get geared up in the meantime. Look, there's even a workbench here. By the way... You can take my railgun if you want. Might be of more use where you're going. Don't forget the ammo! Tell me when you're ready. But don't forget to restore some filters, Artyom. Won't have time to do that later. Ah, where is it? So, what do we have here? Tell me, Kirill, how did you and your father end up the only survivors? The green stuff. The anti-rat ran out. You can't survive without it. The fire stations rioted, the committee sent in soldiers, the war broke out. And then, some died in combat, others in the fire. Not enough people to guard the entrances, so the mutants broke through everywhere. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I'm okay. Don't worry. <sighs> Where is it? Aha! Here it is. As far as I understand, that ventilation is our exit to the station. Yes, that one! Then you go through the station. Then take the right tunnel. This thing is simple. Just take a shot if you feel sick. Thank you. So, this is what had been keeping them all alive. Are you ready? 
Good luck. Remember why we are in this. The life of my daughter, your wife, is in your hands now. Now go.
Artyom. Artyom. Come on, wake up.
You didn't find, find it, it, my love. love. It's, it's all right. right. I know, I know you, you tried. tried. I'm, I'm waiting, waiting for, for you. you. I, I want, want you to be there when... when... <coughs> you are here. here. So, so nice. I thought I was all alone again. Get up! Quick! He's asleep. Better leave them be when they get like this. It's just a straight drive from now on. He tried to teach me to drive, but... He just... went out like this.
can you drive? Hooray! We're moving again. He found the map! Said that was a true hero. And that he saved us all.
I don't get how he's even alive. Artyom, can you hear me? Careful, everyone. He got irradiated badly. And I couldn't even get a reading on the colonel's body. The counter goes off the scale. <sighs> Hold on, Artyom. We'll fix you just fine. How could this happen? Focus, Katya! What do we do? Tell us! <sighs> An emergency transfusion. We must give him as much blood as we can. Transfusion it is then. Will it save him? It will keep him alive for a little longer. As long as there is blood. What's his blood type? AB positive. We could give him any type. Get everyone here. Don't go to sleep, Artyom. <sighs> you can't go to sleep now. Well, hello there, Artyom. How about we take a walk? <laughs> Staying underground grew old. That's it, Stepan. You can't give more. Look! He's up! Can you hear me, Artyom? Don't you dare die on us. Just don't you dare. I've got a whole life ahead of you. And kids! So fight for it. Fight! Why did you stop? Didn't you always want to go outside? Didn't you open that airlock at the botanical gardens? This place is much better. This isn't your destination, Artyom. You're not there yet, not even close. It's not your station, it's just a dead end. Not your goal. Can you hear me? Give me your hand. Oh, you're burning up. Well, I, I hope this old man's blood will do something about that, that hot head of yours, eh? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Okay, my friend. Time to get some quality blood in that body of yours, eh? With this, ah, you'll be up in no time. Or I'll eat my own shoes, huh? You know, I finally feel like I belong somewhere. I am no longer an outsider. You keep us together, Artyom. You must survive for all of our sakes. Let's go to this summit. Hear me, Artyom. You've got a wife you need to work on making kids with. And my fiancé is still in Moscow. We still have to stir some shit up back in the metro, so don't you fucking dare die here. Look, Artyom. Lake Baikal ah, makes you believe real life is possible. Not the petty rat race we had back in the metro. I just... just have to say... You were right, Artyom. Right for wanting to get us out. Bring us here. And I, the old fool... I was simply afraid. Afraid of life, as I see now. <gasps> Look! He's smiling! Smiling in his sleep! He even seems to say something. It's his fever talking. He's burning up. This world is worth giving everything up for, Artyom. <laughs> you were always ready. And I... Uh, was too attached to my position in the rat race. I'm sorry. Sorry for what happened to Anna. Sorry for blaming you. Had I not pumped everyone up about the occupying forces, she'd never have fallen there. Artyom, I beg you, don't die. Stay with me, please. I don't want a life if you're not a part of it. Can you hear me? Look at me, Artyom. Look at me, please. Yes, about Anna. You will have to look out for her. Now that I can't anymore. I don't care if you go to that ocean. 
Just stay with her. <coughs> I'm keeping her out. She can barely stand herself, but she's ready to give all her blood to him. At least the medicine helped. It's a miracle. I have a daughter, but I also wanted a son. A really stubborn one, just like me. Like you. I really like this place. It's so clean. I'd like to stay here forever. Could you arrange that for me? <laughs> and the most important thing, my time's up, Artyom. It's your turn now. Step up, lead them. Just remember that I created the order to save people. All people, Artyom. Don't forget that. Because I somehow did. Goodbye, Commander. Time to wake up. Come on. Rise and shine, son. The fever is subsiding. I think he's getting better. Now he needs some rest. You too, Anna. We've got hope now. We found the place I saw in my dream. That hill on the shores of Baikal where Miller took me. A clean place, just like he said. Everything around is clean. We found ourselves a home. A home at the foot of a hill, overlooking a lake. A home where we could raise our children, who will be born not in the damp and dark tunnels, but under blue sky and bright sun. Ladies and gentlemen, as the ranking officer, I propose a motion to entrust the duty of commanding the order to our job. Unanimously approved. So, what would your orders be, sir? I would say we all go home. But this home seems too large for just us. You know, the colonel once told me he created the order to save people. All of them. I say it's time we perform this duty. Anna, my daughter, the year we spent on the road gave me time to think about things. Respect, responsibilities, duties. They all mean nothing compared to what's important. My family, you. I'm sorry, I only got it now. I'll go through this snow-covered graveyard with a sieve if that's what it takes to find the cure. As for Artyom, he feels his guilt. He wants to atone. I'll just have to see that atonement doesn't cost him his life. The important part is that I'm back in Metro, and no mutant can stop me here. Radiation on the surface is different, though. Frankly, I thought I was buying a one-way ticket for myself going in. You said you were close, but why do you need the Institute? You are persistent. We're on a mission, but that's all I can tell. But now, thanks to the green stuff given to us by Kirill, we both have a chance to achieve the goal and survive. So, Private, our team left. I'd better get ready to set out, too. What about me, Colonel, sir? You'll stay here. I'm putting you in charge of communications. I need someone to coordinate the operation. Can you handle the responsibility? Yes, sir. I can. Good. By the way, Private, how did you live here before the riots, when there was still enough green stuff to go around? Uh, we did all right. But my dad was always out on a mission or a patrol. So you barely saw him? Oh, no. 
That did his best to come home earlier, especially on the holidays. We even spent the last New Year's together. Colonel, sir, the maintenance guys asked to remind you to burn all the slime around the pumps once you reach them. Uh oh, I say the slime is done for. Colonel Klebnikov himself is taking up the flamethrower. <laughs> Don't jinx it. As for flamethrower, where is it? Here you go, Colonel, sir. Mind you, it's quite heavy. I know. Is it pressurized? It should be, but I'll still check. The handle's on the side. Give it a pump or two if needed. Ah, uh, if you want something done, you have to do it yourself. <laughs> All right, I'm off. Give Slime some hell, too. We'll do just that, sir. We certainly will. Break a leg. Break both. Oh, thanks. Huge. Older to all groups. I just saw a fully grown worm, so watch out. Older, red one here. Roger that. Red two, Roger. Red three, Roger that, sir. Good.
Ну, Explosives. Just find the valve that stops the water flow. Roger that, Alder. Alder, Red 3 here. I found the valve and it's proceeding as planned. Good job, Red 3. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello, sir. How is it going on your side? Everything fine? Yes, pretty much. What's up with you? Oh, my flame won't hold the pressure. And I can't find a leak for the life of me. Do you have any spare fuel? I didn't expect that shit to grow so thick here. Of course I do, sir. Help yourself. Here. Nice. Thank you. I heard helping the commanding officers is good for your career. Also, that ship did grow like crazy. Ah, I think I got it. <laughs> I really did. All right, I'll go catch up with the guys. Good hunting, sir. You too.
Russians on the line. They say the water's flowing again. They are sending a team to handle the rest. Mission complete. Great. Thank you. Gentlemen, you did a great job there. Thank you, Colonel Sir. Frankly, we were on sweep up duty after you, sir. Ah, cut that. Sweep up duty. Sure. <laughs> on behalf of OSCOM, I'm issuing an official commendation. We serve OSCOM. <laughs> great. We'll get out of those suits and go rest. Certainly, sir. Thank you, sir. So what was I, uh... oh. Sir, take that suit off and put the flamer down, please. They have to be scrubbed for radiation. You'll also be getting a shot of green stuff at the checkpoint. All cold. You just took a week's worth of exposure, at least. Good. Thank you. Thank you, and goodbye, Colonel Sir. Come aboard, Colonel Sir. Thank you. Hey, guys, get aboard. We give you lift to prospect. Thank you, sir, but we're waiting for the transport from HQ. There's enough space for everyone. Good luck, then. Let's go, Petrovich. Yes, sir. <laughs> your sleeve, please. We've got to give you the shot. Here you go. Roll your sleeve up, Petrovich. You get a shot, too. Hey, uh, uh, no. Please, I'd rather use my own injector at home. Be my guest, then. Thank you. Uh, don't lean on the doors, please. Next station is Krasne Prospect. <laughs> Granddaughter getting worse? No, thank God. Still, standard child's allowance of green stuff is not enough for her, even though we move to the prospect. So I'm squirreling away whatever I can, just in case. It's not easy, but we survive, and that's what counts. Yeah, but enough about us. <laughs> Tell me if you roasted that shit good. That we did, Petrovich. That we did. <laughs> uh, my friend, that is good to hear. Still, it will just grow even thicker next time. Like it always does. You see, the bumps are failing. It's because of that slime. They've been working non-stop for 20 years. 
Oh, and all this shit. The filters get clogged, the O-rings, they burst, the iron rusts. And soon the old counter-flooding system will give up the ghost. <laughs> we'll have to row boats here. <laughs> You'd make a good gondolier. <laughs> I can sing too! Oh, please, spare me. Your singing is an atrocity. Please proceed. The general is expecting you. I don't need your excuses, Captain. If you take the initiative to do something, you must be ready to see the thing you started to the end. Dismissed. Sir, yes, sir. Hello, sir. Oh, Slava. I've been waiting for you. Come on in. Make yourself comfy. There's been a new development here while you were out barbecuing. Take a look at these maps. Background radiation? Yes. Stalkers brought this in from the SATCOM center. And now, I want your people to go there and find the fresh ones. Detailing the whole country so that we know where to go. Take this under personal control and ensure complete secrecy. Okay? Go, Tolia. Cut to the chase. Are we preparing an evacuation? Right. This is strictly between us, mind you. Yes. We can't delay any longer. We're out of green stuff. We'll have to resort to confiscations, so everything must stay under wraps for now. Why the secrecy? It's good news. People would donate their stock voluntarily if we told them. Not my decision, Slava. Still, sometimes it makes sense to save the good news for last. I see. Thanks for telling me. Remember, it's between us. You know me. Well, Happy New Year! Uh, wait a second. better get home now. As a hero of the war on slime and a lone father, you are hereby granted a New Year's present from the command. A one-month allowance for two. <laughs> Thanks. I won't hold you any longer unless... How about some tea? You do know how to keep a man away from his family. <laughs> how is Ser Yoga doing? <laughs> Full of himself, obviously. Just think about it. My son is a captain now. I never raised a finger for that. Can you believe that? Of course I can. That's just typically you. I believe he must achieve everything himself. It builds character. Oh, it definitely does. He used to be on the soft side. Like his mom. He really toughened up now. You were always hard on him. Almost too hard. I could never be like that. Actually, and I speak as someone who's been watching you too, I think you're doing amazingly well. He's growing up a real man. An Oscom fighter. <laughs> yes, he is a huge fan of all things Oscom. We're like superheroes in his eyes. A bit chilling, actually. But we are heroes. We're saving who we can, and it's all for our children's sake. What could be chilling in that? <sighs> he still doesn't understand many things, and idealizes us. Thinks we are knights without fear and beyond reproach, but real life is... complicated. You must do certain things. And then look into his eyes, thinking, would he understand if I told him about that? And that day will come. Kirill is a real man. He will understand. A real hero, Slava, isn't someone flexing his muscles and wearing shiny armor. A hero is someone who does what needs to be done. He may get splashed with dirt, even blood sometimes, but he still does the thing. Because it is necessary. Understanding this makes a man a man. Mm, maybe. 
But it's quite close to the ends justify the means from there, though. Oh, come on. Such a soppy load of crap. Oh, the ends justify the means. You can't say that. Those are bad, bad words. Shame on you. Our philosophy professor, Maria Ivanovna, told us that. But I say they do. How else would you achieve anything? You sacrifice something to get somewhere. Did this ever work differently? Do they always? All right. You got me there. You're right. That's how you achieve things. But I always thought that it was a question of sincerity. If they do or not. Being sincere with yourself first and foremost. <laughs> that was deep. Philosophical-like. I bet you took Maria Ivanovna's advanced course, too. <laughs> uh, well, I think I'll get going now. Yes, Slava, I'm sorry I kept you here. Go, go see your son. Give my regards to Kirill and a happy new year. I'll be working on my speech in the meantime. Hate making public addresses, but the occasion calls for it. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect and our guests from other states. Colonel, sir. Hello, Colonel, sir. A happy new year to you. You filthy drunkard! Just look at yourself, you pig! Look, Tanya, I just... So this is the new year. You're That's a right. of nothing to me. Got it. We are celebrating here. Come join us, sir. Carry on. I'm going home. Happy New Year. By the way, it's been a while since I last saw Sasha from the third company. Happy New Year, Colonel Klebnikov. Look, one day we are going to... to live out our lives underground, you know. So, say we go outside and meet the army. Some units must have remained. You're plenty beautiful as you are. I bet you didn't expect an ambush here. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Great disguise, Private. Though I must ask, where is your Citra? Oh, the mission of helping prepare the celebration is almost accomplished. There's just one light bulb remaining, sir. At ease, Private. I'll help you. Happy New Year, Dad. I didn't think you'd make it in time. You were late for my birthday. And Mom's anniversary, too. You see... I was just doing my best to make sure there were as few sad anniversaries in other families as possible. Ah, oh, I understand. Good to hear that. Now, turn it on! Mission accomplished! Good job, Private! Thank you. Oh, Dad, I have something for you. Here, Petrovich helped me fix it. Oh, thank you, son. Speaking of Petrovich, as soon as the official celebration is over, all personnel are to wash their faces and arrive at Petrovich's place wearing dress uniform. Yay! Arrive at Petrovich's clean face and dress uniform. Roger that, Corona, sir. Wow, the tree is so beautiful. Yes, listen. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect and our guests from other stations. Year 2034 is almost over. It wasn't an easy year, but all the hardship only served to make us close our ranks around our common goal. 
the well-being of everyone living down here in the tunnels. We are all looking forward to the coming year, expecting change for the better, and it is sure to arrive to our concerted effort as a community. On behalf of OSCOM leadership, I thank you all for your good work and wish you a happy new year. Happy 2035! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year! Damn, this sucks. The damn generator is out again. I'm at the trading stores. Where's that passage to Sibirskaya? It's downstairs. Oscom HQ used to be there. They brought the green stuff they took from the people there. I see. Confiscations. Found it! Thank you, Private. Citizens, we urge you to remain calm. Voluntarily submit your stocks of radio protector to the authority. Remember, our common duty is to stand together and ensure the common good of all the citizenry. May I, General? Sir. Not funny, Slava, and I'm not in the mood for jokes. What's up at Sibirskaya? We're all done there, and this is what we got. It's not much. This is bad. We're in the middle of a fallout spot, and we'll have to roast for 500 clicks at the very least. Your guys brought a bunch of maps, but there are no really safe areas on any of them. I had hopes for Lake Baikal, but... Still looking for Baikal. The archive is trashed. As for the radiation, that's what the filters are for. Keeping the dust out. Filters. All the carriages are so radioactive, no filters will help us without the green stuff. There will be children, too. You have a son yourself, so you know children need more. I know. Do we have enough? Not for everyone at once. First we'll evacuate the core people. Prepare clean rolling stock, and then bring everybody else out. So you mean we're going to split people into sorts? The ones we say first, and then the rest... You know what's drags? at stake. Our children, among all else. What's there to discuss? <laughs> Didn't expect that from you, of all people. Think about Kirill. I, for one, thought about him. You two will be leaving with the first train. So don't fail me now. Just forget it all and take a break. Your people can handle the prospect by themselves. All right. I want another smoke. How about you? Don't mind if I do. Help yourself then. It's been a while since I had smokes like this. The dirty stations are crawling with troublemakers. You know the start. They've been rambling about doing away with the regime and starting a new life. And they're going to catch the day. Exactly. As soon as it becomes known that we've no green stuff left, and then the rumors of evacuation start. And they will. Naturally. Exaggerated ones at that. The leadership is running away, abandoning the common folk. A chance they won't miss. Well, you understand it all. We'll uphold order for as long as we can. God save us from a full-blown uprising. Still, God favors the prepared. Keep your weapon ready, Slava. We're in for one bumpy ride. <sighs> yes, this is going to get ugly. But we don't have a choice in this. 
Either we save who we can, or we descend into chaos and all die. So if you do have to shoot, look at this as a war on living the dead. Each rioter is an animated corpse trying to drag us into its grave. A cynical view. Cynical, but realistic. Let's hope it doesn't go that far. Are your people ready to do their part? Well, those who weren't all dropped out years ago. What's your take on the others? I'm not sure about some of them. We'll start quietly disbanding and disarming their units. You are risking splashing fuel on the embers. What else can I do? Damned if I do and if I don't. True enough. <sighs> you know, I do feel drained. I guess I'll excuse myself. Of course. Have some rest while you still have a chance. I fear you haven't got long. And Slava, take care. You too, Tolia. So, what did he say? Well, he said they understand our predicament and they value our contribution and cooperation a lot. And as soon as they get the Hello, sir. Cough up the green stuff. You gave us nothing last week. <sighs> How can they do please this to us? Patience. Colonel, please, tell them to do something. Please, get in line. Please, Colonel, tell them to start handing it out. We Step can't away. wait anymore. Colonel, sir, permission to address. Granted. An anonymous tip on excess stock. We can't ignore those, but he won't open the door. I see. Let's go. What the hell is with you? I just remembered the New Year. Didn't we have a drink right over here? Here! You Come over here, sir! Of course I do! Open up, Petrovich! Slava! Uh, Come in. Thanks. Follow me. Mikhail Petrovich, you know why we are here. I suggest you donate your excess stock voluntarily, or there will be trouble. Akin? You know I can't do that. It is for my granddaughter. I have been saving from my own allowance. I can't do anything. We had a tip about your stock and had to react to that. Commence the search. Check there. What the hell is with you? Oh, this is so unfair. I earned this. Saved my wages. I know, but it we follow the rules. I found a cash sir. He does have some. I can't Not too say. much here, though. My granddaughter is sick. She needs that. Sure, your granddaughter. I bet it's going to the market. Colonel, tell them, please. You know it's true. Sir, this can't be all he has stashed. We should search more. There's a quota to me. Enough. We're only confiscating the excess stock. But, sir, I will have to report everything. Take this to HQ and report that stopping the search was my decision. Yes, sir. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I know you didn't have a choice. Thanks for leaving me, son. I'm sorry, too. You were right about choice, though. Nobody had it. I'll be going now. <sighs> Thank Don't you. mention it. Thank you, Slav. Enough is enough. Your quota wasn't conjured out of thin air, it was calculated properly, and you're short. Pay the rest! Look, officer, think about it. Where am I supposed to get so much? Come, open up. Ah, hello there, Private. I'm completely drained. Kirill? Hmm. All right, Private. Tell me what's going on. Nothing. I just don't want 
You don't want what? To be a private! And I don't want to be an Oscom anymore! Right. Please, elaborate on that. I want to see Biraskaya. And I saw the soldiers taking green stuff from people. I mean, one traitor, when I give it to them, started shouting. They beat them up and took all the green stuff anyway. Well, this is just unacceptable. First thing tomorrow, I'm going to get their names. You said Oscom protects people, but you just take their green stuff away. Why? It's not easy. We're short on green stuff. That's why we must take from those who have lots of it and give to those who don't have enough. Or else the rich would just sit on their stock while the poor would all die. Could you call that fair? Not at all. Of course I couldn't call that fair. Right. Of course those who we take from aren't happy, but there's no other way, you see? Yeah, if I had all my green stuff taken, I wouldn't be happy about that. But I understand now. Good. Still, those soldiers were wrong. I'll make sure they are punished, and then they'll have to go and apologize. Yes, make them. They must apologize. Great. Speaking of green stuff, it's time we gave you a shot, so give me your arm. All right. Done. Kirill, Miller here. Do you read? Over. I read you, Colonel. There's some static. Over. I hear static too. I'm entering Sibirskaya. Was this where the last battle happened? Over. Yes. I only know of it from father's words. Right before the rioters started their last attack, we had to talk. Dad, do you really have to go? You didn't rest at all. The rioters are advancing. There's no time for rest. Rioters? Tell me, Dad. If we, Oscom, are protecting people, why lie to them? Wow. You've grown up, Private. And I'm none the wiser. So let's have a grown-up talk. Should we tell the truth? Of course. But life is a complex thing. In the hands of our enemies, truth may be dangerous. We must carefully choose who we can entrust with it, and who we cannot. The command sees the whole picture, and makes decisions. However unpleasant those decisions might be sometimes, they are still necessary. The command thinks about everyone, while the civilians only think about themselves. That is why the truth that might scare them must be kept secret, for their own good. Do you understand that? I do. But still, this is a scary way of thinking. There are a lot of scary things in life. Yet, I brought you up well. You are strong and brave. You can take it. All right, time to go. You get home and don't step out or let anyone in until I'm back. It's an order. Yes, Colonel, sir. 
Sergeant, walk him home. Yes, sir. Let's go, Kirill. All right. Good luck, Dad. Good luck, son. Slava, I'm sorry about that. I know you had no choice. <laughs> had I said nothing, they would have never believed they found the door. under the bridge. Neither I nor you had a choice in this, Petrovich. Good luck to you too. See you on the train. Thank you. Hello, Colonel, sir. Glad to see you back. Yes, sir. Take the detonator. Give me cover. Yes, sir.
Covering fire for the Colonel. No saving ammo. Roger that. <laughs> HQ, Klebnikov here. HQ here. One charge didn't work. Damn. Fall back to Sibirskaya and stop them there. I've got no one else to rely on. Roger that. Over and out. Colonel, sir! They blew the airlock and are coming down from the surface! It's either us or them! We'll get them out! We'll give them some! Let them come! We're ready!
on, sir. I'll help. Just hold on. I'll report to the general. Operation successful. Pawns are all dealt with. Ready for evacuation. You fucker. What do you mean? Already left. What? What's going on? We're covering evacuation. Evacuation? But you just killed everyone! Soldiers! Civilians! Nobody left to evacuate! Slava! There's only enough green stuff left to evacuate the leadership! Everyone else is doomed! Gas was used just to cut the agony short. So you knew it! You knew it all along, you motherfucker! <coughs> Did I have a choice? What difference does it make now? I made a mistake leaving me <laughs> Petrov! Petrov! The fuckers left without us! Get Seryoga on the line now! <laughs> what? Dead? Seryoga? Son? Now listen to me. There's an RPG in the gun cabinet. Get it and rush to the old crossroads. Blow the fuckers up there! Go! <laughs> So, what do we do now? <laughs> Whatever. I had enough. <coughs> so long, Slava. Uncle Polya? Did he just kill himself? Why? Don't look there. I'm sorry I broke your order. There was a shooting at the station. Then it all went quiet, and you didn't come. I was worried, and I went looking for you. Listen, I told you earlier. Who should be told the truth, and who should not? Forget it. It's not for us to decide. And if you're being fooled, it's never for your own good. That's why he's dead. I... I understand. Good. Now... Let's go home, son. I'm at the bunker entrance. Roger that, Colonel. You'll be off the grid inside, so please, be careful. I will, Kirill. Miller, over and out. Pine, this is Older. Come in, Over. Older, this is Pine. Speak. Over. Private. I'm at the bunker's door. I'll be off the grid while I'm down there. Don't know how long. When is the next scheduled radio contact? Keep me sharp, Colonel. The battery? Keeping it charged. The door? Look, I'm eating the liver too. And 
burn the slime, and I don't go to the dirty stations ever. Dad, fill out the whole cheat sheet for me. I'm reading off it now. You do just that. Reading helps you remember. That's all, Pine. I'm going offline. Roger that, Elder. Over and out. Pine, come in. Over. Pine here. Over. I love you, son. A whole lot. Uh, I love you too, Dad. And I want you to eat that liver without fail, over and out.
Gail, I'm coming back. I just need a tiny bit of rest. I'm just so tired. There you are, brother. Hmm. You found the maps and took a break, I see. I need a breather, too. Boy, did these hunks of iron chafe. Gotta watch out not to stay for too long, though. Your son sent me here, told where to look. He's tough, your Kirill. Yes, I can see his effort. Children. It's always about them. I'm here because of my daughter. She's smart, strong, kind, beautiful. I can't even tell you how proud I am of her and how much I love her. I'm trying to be a father, but end up a colonel. It's as if by showing affection, I'd also show my vulnerability, not just to her. To her husband, too. At first, I even thought that boy was all right. But his obsession with truth started driving me mad. He kept risking his life while he had the love of the best woman in the world. Decent people want normal things. A thicker broth, a warm place to call home, and healthy children. But he wants truth. Let me glance at those maps. Boy, was I mad at him. But then I took a closer look at the world and re-examined my life up to that point somewhat. Especially when I heard your story. I saw my past self in you, friend. We both served the great lie because we both made ourselves believe it was necessary. And if not for him, I would have ended up like you did. But now, finally, my life has a real purpose for a change. All because I can finally look the truth in the eye. I think you understand. Thank you for the maps. Don't think it was all in vain. You saved us all. And Creel, I'll give him this watch and make sure he gets out of this hellhole. You have my word. Well, it's time. Farewell, Colonel Klipnikov. Rest easy. Artyom, stay with me. Hold on, son. Parting with my friends, it's hard. But, for them, the Colonel's death signaled the end of their journey. And the beginning of a new life on the shores of Lake Baikal. 
for me, a loss became a threshold between the order and my own life, between duty and my dream to see Dad again. And like Artyom before, I chose to pursue my wild dream. Along the way, I sometimes felt that the trees, ruins, and leaning wire posts vanishing behind were just an endless movie reel projected onto a ragged screen just for me. A lonely late night viewer in an empty theater. <laughs> Yet, every morning, the sun rising dead ahead brought another change of scenery, making sure that I was, in fact, getting closer to the Pacific. obstacles on the way. One day, <laughs> sitting in a recliner on my dad's porch, I might actually be tempted to start a book about this trip or something. One day, but not here. Not now. I see the town that's to become my springboard for a leap across the ocean, and I smell salt in the air. If there really is even a slight chance of me ever getting home, I will find it here. Привет, Владивосток. Get lost, you idiot! Watch out, boys! Don't get hit! Don't fucking kill him! Shoot his legs if you must! I'm warning you! Next time I'll shoot to kill! So I know where to go. Fucking year. Much obliged. 
You motherfucker! You got our boss! Shoot the fucker, boys! Boys, the fucker's got help! I have enough ammo for all of you! I think we got all of them! Thanks for your help! Come up here and let's talk! Alright! Take it easy. I just helped you. Put it down right now! All right. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for a ship that could take me home. You know any good ones? <laughs> we only have one ship here, and she's a looker. Come, I'll show you. Careful over here. It's a long fall. You don't want to join those poor bastards. They keep chasing me, trying to earn favor with the cat. At least they want to get me alive. Get your spyglass. You can see her perfectly from here. She's right over there. Okay, wow. A submarine? It's freaking huge. Nice ticket home. Speaking of your home, where is it? Your accent seems vaguely familiar. San Diego. Damn, another American. Seriously, talk about coincidence. Another American? Danu! Looks like you really don't know anything. I'll tell you later. Huh? We've got to scram. What the hell is that? The Batwing! Let's get out of here before it gets us. Follow me.
much better. Come and take it! You're coming. With us! Take him alive! Take this! Fuck Swear when we got it. Fuck you all, bastards! I kill you. That's American for sure. How do you know it's American when you're not that good at Russian? Well, I did hear American in the movies before the war. He could have seen some too. By the way, he's up. Hey, where are you from, pal? From Moscow. Look, are you an American, pal? <laughs> No, I'm a Buryat. All right. You got me. I am an American. <laughs> there you have it. No shit. Duh. <laughs> no wonder you gave us so much trouble before we met you. It's just not my day. Nimoy din sakodnya. Looks like it. Well, you might still change your opinion. Hey, guys! Turns out we caught an American! We better call countdown report! Mace, delivery here. Patch me through to Kent. I got news for you. All right, standing by. Kill the engine, guys! We're to stand by! Speaking of this not being your day, see what's over I there. I do. It's clouds. 
Clouds! This is a storm, pal! Yep, a storm. And storms here are not your regular storms. They can ruin your day like nowhere else. You're lucky we took you in when we did. Delivery. The boss is back on the bridge. Switching over. Got it. Rev up and head to the sub! So, what have you got? Did you deliver the offer to the captain? Nah, he got spooked by some small fries. We nabbed the guy who was with him, though. Turns out the guy's an American. Uh, aren't you fucking with me? <laughs> Please, boss! He's more like you on a bad day! Oh, I see. Uh, pass the radio to that American, will you? Okay, I feel stupid for even considering this shit, but just in case, who are you? Lance Corporal Samuel Taylor, U.S. Marine Corps. <laughs> wow. Just... wow. Yeah, I have trouble believing it myself. Oh, damn. Listen up, delivery. Here. Change the plan. He is my guest. Do you get that? Uh, bring him over, quick. Yes, boss. Well, didn't we make a splash? Now tell me, who of us knew he was an American all along, eh? Haha. <laughs> wow. Impressive, huh? It's all ours. Impressive. Look, it's the boss. Is that him? Yeah, it's me! Well, hello there! Why are you still tied up? Huh? I love it! Yes, boss. Shit, we pissed the cat off. We should have taken the rope off. Then we get chewed up for acting on our own. Yeah, there's just no making the cat happy. It's not our day. see you. Haven't met another American in 23 years. Name's Tom, by the way. Nice to meet you too, Tom. Is the ship yours? Can I book a ticket? <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, follow me. Let's talk. So, where did you want to go? San Diego, one way. California. <laughs> oh, truly. A heaven on Earth. I stay for the traffic in L.A., of course. That was hell. Look, man, remind me, what was the name of your baseball team? Padres. Right! Oh, our team used to play them often. I'm from Seattle, you know. <sighs> Mariners, if you think any further check is in order. Nothing personal, Lance Corporal. These are tough times. Of course. Trust but verify. Exactly. 
By the way, Sam, this is Clint, my right-hand man. He's in charge of the applied force department of my business here. Hello, Sam. Очень приятно, Клим. Clint's boys couldn't invite you here at a better time. The doctor flex the wind somewhat, but still. Just look at that. Yeah. Had I stayed there, I'd be halfway to Kansas by now. Not that I want to go there. <laughs> Where do you want to go? <laughs> Though, wait. Uh, how about we have a good smoke and hear your story first, Sam? Won't say no to a smoke. Even though there isn't much of a story, really. Middle East, Afghanistan, then Moscow. I was on the embassy guard detail. Happened to be in the metro when shit hit the fan. Quite a lot of people survived there. And then, we just sat in the tunnels for 20 years, thinking we were the last people alive in the world. How come? A perimeter of jammers. The leaders were in the know, but kept it under wraps. For 20 years? But why? Haven't got a clue, really. A friend of mine learned the truth, and with him, the whole squad I was with. We had to run. Across the continent, we had a train. At Lake Baikal, we split. I went further east and kept going until I ended up here. If my dad is still alive, he could still be waiting for my return. He'd be over 70 now. I haven't got much time. I see. So you're looking for someone to take you home. Yeah. People don't just sail across the Pacific nowadays, unlike the old times. But I can take you there on this sub. It's rather cool than Canton. You're right, Clem. Could I help somehow, Tom? And how did you get this submarine in the first place? It's a long story. Uh, perhaps just an executive summary? Well, I am in a hurry, but not to such an extent. <laughs> well, in that case, I'll start from afar. Oh, by the way, I almost nailed Tennessee Sour Mash here. No proper aging, of course, but the flavor is basically right. Want you drink with us, Clem? I'll drink my own. I don't really get that fancy stuff, Tom. <laughs> it was just the first failed batch, you know? Uh, but suit yourself, of course. <laughs> To our meeting. To our meeting. To our meeting. Wow. Good show. Oh, yeah. What did I tell you? So, ready to listen now? I'd been doing business here before the war, mainly on the international weapons market. The locals had lots of money and opportunities, but no connections and style whatsoever. That's where I came in. Klim handled the relations with our local partners. Just before the war, our enterprise was starting to gain momentum. But then the bombs fell. You can guess the rest. Yep. Our company had a competitive advantage, though. Warehouses full of weapons. And Klim's boys in charge of guarding those warehouses. <laughs> then we entered a phase of dynamic growth, and a few years ago learned of a flourishing settlement here in Vladivostok. The place was governed by the ex-captain you met before. Uh, he did do a decent job of it, I must admit, but was not ready for the ongoing war against bandits. Uh, that's what we offered to help with. The captain took the deal and was not disappointed. Uh, Klim found a radical solution to the bandit problem. Yeah, you can still see some hanging. Right. And then we learned that the sub was operational all along, and the captain never even thought of using this immense opportunity. How was he supposed to use it? Obviously, you're not a businessman, just like him. Naturally, to everyone's benefit. For so many years after the war, mankind has been barely holding on to life because there was no force left to unite the survivors in pursuit of restoring the civilization. But we, we could create such a force. 
a new state, the true shining city on a hill, to lead the whole world to new accomplishments, to turn the apocalypse into a new beginning. We won't even have to shoot. Just drop the anchor in view of any settlement, open our missile ports, and they will readily give us everything and accept our power. Mm. Oh, do you find this inelegant? It would be just a statement of fact. We are power here. We are the force to lead everyone into the future. I see. So, what do the captains say? Oh, he went ballistic and tried to get rid of us. But when he saw his game was up for good, he ran away. Which means you get to decide where to sail now, right? Certainly. There's just one slight problem. The sub's all right, but its reactors need to be refueled. But only the ex-captain knows where to get the fuel rods and can control the procedure. Regrettably, after our falling out, he wouldn't even talk to us no matter what. Yeah. A lot of things starting to make sense now. Great. Then I can offer you a deal. Sam, I'd like you to be our negotiator. Make that fossil understand. If he helps us get the fuel, we leave the settlement to him. We'll find a better base in no time anyway. Of course, he's also welcome to have all crew members who won't follow me. And once we get the fuel, San Diego will be our first destination. Deal? Deal. Sam, you'll need some protection as our burly man. I'll send my best guys. Thanks, Clem. But I prefer working alone. Oh, that's some true grit right there. Hey, leave Sam be, Clem. He can handle it. <laughs> Whatever you say, boss. So, we have a deal. Still, if you are going to represent us in negotiations, we'd better equip you to our standard. Uh, Clem, please set Sam's radio to pick up our frequencies. Sure. Here. Now for the important part. The map of the area. It's as exact as it can be, all things considered. Plus, it shows all the captain's hideouts we know of. You should check those first. Done. Spasibo, Klim. Well, radio's taken care of. As for the rest of your gear, drop by the shooting range. You'll be issued everything. Have some rest first, though. You had a long day. Thank you, but I'd rather go now. I prefer to strike iron while it's hot. <laughs> well, <laughs> your choice. Thanks, Tom. Guess I'll be going now. The storm's already over, after all. Good luck. We'll of keep course. in touch. Just leave -o. Just leave -a. Bye. Why did you not let me send my boys with him? They could catch the old goat cleanly and quietly. Oh, enough. I know you're cleanly and quietly. Your boys fucked up for good when they let him get away. The captain himself, I could forgive. We're keeping tabs on him. But where's the exo? The other? We're looking. Oh, looking? You've been looking for almost a year now. And now the captain is our only chance. Don't you see? I just can't trust your boys with it. Well, but you can trust this passerby. He's an American. So what? I don't know him. You don't know him either. But I do. He survived in Moscow. He survived there, and then he came here. Well, if you say so. I certainly do. And enough of this! <sighs> do you have anyone watching the passage to the upper marsh? Observation post, two guys. Good. Tell them to be on the lookout for our guest. Provide him support if need be, and tell that to everyone else. Got it. Let's think of where he could even find the guy. Where was the captain seen? Everywhere. Pick a point. How about here? Right under our noses. The pool? Howdy, Uncle Sam. 
You're expected at the shooting range. Boss's orders. It's that way. Cross the bridge. Hi, American. Okay, I think I got this. Time to check ignition. This is ground control to Major Tom. Nah, your circuit's dead. There's something wrong. Ah, I've been expecting you. My name's Daniela. I'm Tom's gunsmith. The boss wants you geared up ASAP, Sam. So I'll cut straight to the chase. First, your universal detector. There are mines all over the ruins, so never leave home without it. It can also detect spare parts, weapons, lots of things, actually. Nice. Indeed. Now, your new rifle. This looks familiar, but different. It's a local make, optimized for our home brand of incendiary ammo. It accepts regular ball, all right, just not the standard mags. Don't want our idiots ruining their old rifles with the hot stuff. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. Ah, glad to hear that. I guess you're all set now. You can test it here. My assistant has a couple of mags ready. Here's your ammo. Good luck. This one should not just feel familiar. It's the real McCoy. A 45 automatic. Straight from Tom's premium stock. We've sold quite a few of its siblings here. But this one's been fine-tuned to the max, and hasn't seen a day of use past its shakedown. So it won't fail, no matter what. Don't mind if I do. Try to hit all the targets. Oh, I always wanted to see a real Marine version. Simplify. Look, I can appreciate art of shooting like nobody else here. Thanks for the show. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, that was truly amazing. Here's your prize. All in a day's work. Well, I won't be holding you any longer. Good luck, Sam. Thanks, Daniela. See you around. Sure. Did you get geared up? Weapons zeroed in and all that stuff? Yep, everything's fine. Great. Good luck to you then. Come on, we've been here a hundred times already. All right. You can move on. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Is that American? Yeah. What are you talking about?
Hello there, our American guest. How do you do? We're still checking. But yes, there's definitely some missing. So, you don't like Tom's new direction? Look, I know you're trying to... Hello again, American. No hard feelings, right? No hard feelings. Great. The boss told us to find your nice boat, and here she is. Looks nice enough. She handles well, too. Just take the wheel and use the remote box, like the stick on a car, and you'll be fine. We even installed a compass. Yeah, don't leave it unattended, though. It's got pure spirit inside. Also, mind the inertia. At full speed, it takes some time to stop, even if you switch to reverse. And please, bring her back in one piece. Ah, I could use this. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Okay, this I could definitely use. Could be of use. I could use that. Пригодится.
Loja. I could definitely use. Отличная находка.
I hope there's no... Хорошо.
This looks interesting. Too much TV is bad for your eyes. Are you going to put something on or not? Let's put something educational on for a change. I'll be damned. San Diego. Отличная находка. around.
Dica. could use this. Could be of use.
I could use that. Пригодится. Kill the mutants, save the Earth. Well, 
for you, my you damn beast! Watch out! got jammed. You again? Yes, me. Lance Corporal Samuel Taylor, U.S. Marine Corps. Well, thank you, Uncle Sam. Edward Baranoff, ex-captain. Glad to meet you, Ed. How did you end up in this mess? This is one of my ports. Usually the traps downstairs were enough. The Foglies here know well enough to stay away. Let's go before some more arrive. Stupid beasts. You kill a bunch, but they just keep coming. Help me move this, Sam. You got it? Come on! <sighs> oh, we did it. Ugh, I hurt all over. Which is a good sign. Means I'm alive. So, where was I? Ah, yes. Then the bandits from the cinema decide to throw a party for the local gang bosses. And think far enough ahead to chase a pack of Foglies away from the ruins next door for extra security. So the poor mutants arrived here and got sandwiched between the bandits and the other parks in the vicinity. The only way open for them was up. I could beat them, but that gem... You're welcome. I've been looking for you. Did you talk to Tom? Yeah. He suggests a deal. Yes, he's fond of those. my own personal savior let's set sail come aboard we have a long way to go tell me Ed what happened here during the war doesn't look like the city took any direct hits. So why is it in such a state? Yeah, there were no direct hits. The warheads fell into the sea, all in a neat little line. My sub didn't even shoot. All the targets were destroyed without our help. We called the base for orders, but there was no reply. The base was hit naturally, so we sailed here. That's where the HQ was. When we reached the city, we couldn't recognize it. It was even worse back then, of course. Just the smell alone. There were very few survivors, and frankly, we were surprised to find any. We picked them up from the roofs, organized somehow, and ended up settling in the dock. The place ended up pretty cozy. At least we had no problem with electricity, with the reactors running. And by the time they ran out of fuel, we had a floating power station ready. All this luxury ended up generating rumors. So the bandits started coming by to check us out. Finally, one day Tom arrives with an offer of uniting our forces and setting up an effective defense perimeter. Mm, that bastard. Sniper, get down! Damn it. 
Did he get you? I'm fine. Keep your head down. Looks like we're safe. Did you see where he's shooting from? I'll handle the sniper. You the stay water. here. Are you sure? Go get him then.
let me see you, bitch. And you're fucking dead. Just let me see you, bitch. And you're fucking dead. You show yourself!
All right. I'll have a smoke and go back to pretending to be busy. <coughs> some greenhorn gang. This is bullshit. What's up with you, bro? Jaw, meat, knuckles! I give up! No, I, I see you are serious people going about your business. So I, I won't give you any trouble anymore. Ed, Sam here. Sniper neutralized. 
up then. Get down to the gantry. I'll pick you up from there. Никаких проблем. Ooh, a great find. Guys. Ah, these are the bandits I told you about. They came to make a profit by robbing our settlement at the dock, but it didn't pan out. I must give credit where credit is due. That bastard Tom did bolster the defenses all right. These losers have long since stopped raiding. A few years back they made one last attempt. Klim gave them a lesson. They were so terrified, they didn't even cut down bodies of their hanged pals all over the ruins. They couldn't raid and didn't have a place to go. So they turned to trapping. They catch mutants in the ruins. Those human-like ones. Their beasts are dumb and shrewd, but strong. Quite good for dragging carts or boats on the rivers, turning wheels and stuff. They don't eat much either, so using them lets you save a bunch of fuel. So the bandits catch them, train them a little, and then sell them off to traders. Those come from the south a couple of times a month. They pay in weapons, ammo, rice, all the things you need for a decent life in the wild. <laughs> they visit the settlement too, mostly buying restored generators, engines, and other machines. Our maintenance guys are real wizards after all. Oh, and dried fish too. So that's the region's economy in a nutshell. <laughs> but why did those trappers shoot at us? The whole city is divided between them. It took a lot of fighting to define those borders. So now they open fire at anyone approaching without proper insignia. Got it. Turf Wars, the primeval edition. <laughs> you got it. All right, we're here, Sam. Let's pull this thing and I'll show you my backup base. Cool. So, care to tell me the essence of Tom's offer? It's simple. He offers to leave you the settlement along with everyone who won't follow him. How generous. And what does he want? He wants you to deliver fuel rods for the submarine. <laughs> Come on in, sir. Don't worry, the lift's fine. My friends and I took our time preparing this base. There's a generator on the roof. The staircase is just an emergency exit. Too many foglings in the lower floors. So the lift's no longer. Just have to keep that generator going. So, the guys didn't get caught back then, after all. Or if they did, they wouldn't talk. What guys? When Tom had shown his true colors, my closest friends and I decided to refuel this soul and take her to sea. The plan was strictly need to know. Only Alex, my XO, and Alex Second, the torpedo officer, and Volodya, the life support guy, were in. They left to recon the field and stayed in contact for two weeks. They found the fuel. And we arranged for me to pick them up in the night. But it was Klim's people who met me there. 
I barely escaped. Do you think they were captured? I don't know. But seeing Klim's people there was hardly a coincidence. Yeah. And we're there. Come on in, Sam. Make yourself at home, Sam. Take a rest. There's a storm outside anyway. Tell me, Sam. What's your angle in all this mess? I just want to go home, Ed. Nothing more. And Tom said he'd give me a lift. Before starting the nuclear war all over again. Or after. Sam, the Sob is a terrible weapon. A weapon that was entrusted to me to protect my country. Not to be used in pirate raids or even something as noble as creating the kingdom of heaven on earth. Can you see that? <laughs> I didn't use it in the last war, so could anybody have any right to use it in any capacity now? When we're barely surviving after that one. Ed, Tom is a reasonable man. I don't think he'd go so far as... Tom is first and foremost a businessman. And he will get what he wants, one way or another. Can't you see that his offer to let those who wouldn't follow him go is a threat? What is going to happen to them should I choose not to bring him the fuel? I think you're being too negative here, really. Okay, let's do it this way. I ring him up, you talk to him directly. Fine by me. Tom, Sam here. The captain agrees to talk. Perfect, Edward. I'll be brief. I need those fuel rods, and you know that. You want your settlement, your people, and your power back. And I'm ready to offer you just that. As soon as those reactors are refueled, my people and I will leave and never bother you again. You don't believe I'll never use the nukes, but you'll just have to take my word on that. You know I can keep it. You've kept it so far, if we stretch the definition. But that's besides the point. Even if I believe you, I don't believe Klim. Did he tell you the free bandits are working for him? What makes you say so? I have no proof, but the friends I left with went missing. Did he tell you anything about them? He said he was looking for them. I had my doubts for quite some time already, and now they're solidifying. Bolivar cannot carry double any longer. Once the fuel is here, Clem will be taken care of. Anything else? No, just that. Then we have a deal? We do, Tom. I know I'm going to regret this, but we do. You won't. A deal is a deal, Edward. See you soon. Thank you for trusting him. Sam, I don't trust him. Not even for a second. No matter what he says, I can't trust him. But... But you have no choice. Exactly. I really don't have a choice here. The generator's out again. Let's go check it. Oh, shit. Before we go, let's do something about my knee. It is swelling up already. Sure thing, Ed. Do you have anything for the pain? I don't drink, really, but I do have a crate of Molotovs. Their moonshine and fish oil should do the trick. I wish we had some food to chase the drink down with, though. Here. 
Wow, that's a nice surprise. All right, no point in putting it off any longer now. Cheers. <sighs> Not so bad. <laughs> Here, you have some too. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Uh, come on. Let's get it going. I'm ready. Pull it hard. Hold on to your hat. Oh, you saw. Oh, I don't think it worked. Let me catch my breath. And get one for yourself, too. Cheers. <coughs> oh, still awful. Okay. Pull again. Put your back into it. All right. Pulling. <coughs> ah. Ah, damn. That was awful. Thanks for the leg. I feel better already. Cheers. Cheers. I say, let's not go anywhere tonight. Mm. Oh. Not bad at all. <sighs> okay. Let's go check the generator. Are you sure? When my exo bursts seen and shouts, where the hell is my dead machine? I think I got this. Pull that lever, son. Shit. I ain't got it. Huh? You hear that? What, the music? Had we had some music? Amen to that. Hey, you! What the f Okay, let me fix this. I definitely got it now. Start it, son. <laughs> now I got talking. this. Let there be light. <laughs> Wait. Uh, what the? Ed! By the way, care to tell me your story? Are you sure? Come on, son. Unwind. Sure. Why not? When we buried the Colonel, I just knew I had to leave. I just knew Dad he was waiting. Thanks for telling me, son. We were on the ropes by then, and had to take the deal. And that bastard wants to save the world? Bah! He's going to become a pirate with nukes, and that's it. <sighs> I don't know. I don't think it's quite like that. He has... ideas. <laughs> ah! I'm king of the world! <clears throat> oh, good. I'm telling you, Sam, you're a nice guy. <sighs> I don't know. He's not a madman, Ed. I know, but still, ah, to hell with him. Let's drink. <sighs> Come on, son. <laughs> I'm telling you, Sam, you're a nice guy, but you like respect. Respect of your elders. 
Ah, and I mean, why aren't you drinking? Hey, Ed. <laughs> I'm here. You are there too. Weird. Ah, I need a drink. Oh, this is good. Mm. Not bad at all. <laughs> Amen to that. Now that's what I call a party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ed. Ed. Oh, shh. What happened? Ed, I'm blind. How are we drinking? You're not blind, you're sleeping face down. And stop shouting. Oh, my head. Oh. <laughs> oh, my head. That's why I don't drink. Oh. Oh. It's terrible. But I feel better now. <sighs> Here, finish this. It will help a bit. Okay, if you say so. <clears throat> okay, while you're recovering, let's go back to the conversation we had yesterday. I do know where that fuel is, and it's not even that far. In an underground submarine base. The tunnels are half flooded, but still accessible. The entrance is in the Naval HQ building. Radiation's off the charts there, though. So I wouldn't even try without a protective suit. This building used to be a fire department, and I know they had some suits in case of an accident with one of the subs. Now the place is overrun by bandits, so it's not going to be a walk in the park, I guess. Think you can handle it? Okay. I guess some fresh air will do me good. I'll go get those suits. Thank you, Sam. I'll be getting ready here, too. Oh, you should take the stairs. Down there and through the door. Oh, I almost forgot. While going downstairs, could you reload the traps? The mutants do visit this place from time to time. I'll try to, Ed. There's one Molotov left. Take it. There are many dead bandits on the lower floors. They should have the materials for more if you need any.
Take a dirt nap. This is a real prize. Хорошо. Freaks around. <laughs> Not bad. Hey! 
Nice. Someone's gotta do it. Nie dorna.
kill course. We're going to pay for killing our pal, you bitch. Come and get it. I wonder if anyone's coming to avenge these jokers.
so hard. Apparently it is. He had to do it. He had to. Bastard. Traitor. Fucking his own brother over just like that. Him. Wait, what? Who are you? Did he send you? He, my so-called brother. He couldn't get me to give up, so he sends a hitman. I'm no hitman. You, you're not? Well, sorry for jumping to conclusion. It's my brother's fault. I wouldn't put it past him. It's because of him I'm hiding in this dump, eating overgrown lice. Oh, shut up, you damn beast! Can't wait to be roasted! Shut up! Piece of shit! Just like that brother of mine. He wants to take my car dealership. Well, my share in it. Car dealership? The Kovshinov brothers. Right to drive. What? Haven't you heard of it? You must be new in town. Everybody knows us. We deal in used cars from Japan. Quality ones. We started from scratch against all odds. But once we get the business going, that bastard decided to fuck me over. I arrived at the office one day, and there's a new guard. And he won't let me in. He took all I had. Some brother he is. Angela, our accountant, was right. I should never have trusted him. Never. He brought it all down. Destroyed it all. Um, but the war... Ah, who cares? My brother fucked me over. Don't you see? <laughs> but I have a plan. You need to get inside our dealership. Get the incorporation documents from the safe box and bring them to me. Then I'll have proof. I'm not going to let him die a beggar, of course. He's a brother, after all. I'm not like him. But I will pull his poison teeth out. I will! Will you help me? You just need to get that bastard, my brother, to spill his half of the code. We only knew half each to show it was our joint effort. We were stupid. I was stupid. Only Angela knew the whole code. Get his half of the code. Open the safe box and bring me the documents. You will do it, won't you? Look, my half of the code is this. One, two... Three, four. Huh. What? Ah, no matter. Go, go now. I will wait for you here. Oh, we'll show that bastard. We'll show him. Now you'll see. Oh, now you'll see. You will. <laughs> the dealership is mine. Mine alone. So we decided to talk to you. Just give you something to think about at leisure. I'm fine with thinking. So what do you got? Look. <sighs> I think you know what kind of a man he is already. There's also clean. You're working directly under. And you know he needs What? How did you? Who the hell are you? Name's Sam. I'm working for Tom. Ah. <laughs> I know you. I saw you there. So, you are second American, huh? Ah, I heard you were supposed to be around. 
Well, come here. We'll show you what's what. We aren't called scouts for nothing after all. So, first of all, beware of the bat wing roaming about. We haven't seen it, just heard it. And judging by its shouts, it's huge and angry as hell. And probably it's wounded. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Next, where did you need to go? To the fire depot. You can see it from here. The red building with the tower. It's about half a click from here as the crow flies. Right. But you don't look like a crow. It's close. But it's gonna be hard to get there. <laughs> yeah. Crows have it easy in these parts. Look. That unfinished building from before the war. You need to go through it. That's the only way to the upper bog where the fire depot is right now. There's a gang that set up shop there, though. They used to do some slave trade. But lately they switched to the latest thing and started catching those human-like mutants. Can you imagine that? We've been at odds with them since forever. And anyway, they never liked strangers. They're sure to open fire as soon as they see you. Don't expect the warning. So, try to remain unseen. Thank you. I will. What else have we got here? Ah, here, look this way now. See that two-story tower-like building on that islet? It used to be a police post before the war. Now it's taken over by a gang too. Complete mad lads. Though they're busy catching the fuglies now, like the others. That business is on the rise over here, you know? What they have there is a warehouse of sorts. So there should be some good loot there. <sighs> that little islet supposedly houses a cache of sorts. A few years back, a new gang appeared in this town. Those were some crazy bastards, but they were good. They went and demanded tributes from gangs thrice their numbers, and murdered everyone who didn't pay up. They had training, spitznuts like They also had gear, like in the movies, armor, guns. Each of them had night vision, too. <laughs> they had a good run, ended up controlling a huge swath of the ruins, even with their numbers. Then the other gangs decided they had enough got together and smashed them completely. So all that remains of them today are their caches marked by their sign. A skull wearing night vision goggles. So watch out for those. Why? I bet all those places were looted long ago. I wouldn't be so sure. Those guys were real show-offs. Each of their caches is like a puzzle box. The chosen ones in the know are supposed to get it. While random Joes like us are not. <laughs> the boys did find hidden buttons opening doors a couple of times, but all through sheer luck. They never got the principle. Perhaps you'll get it, after looking at the situation with your unbiased American eye. <laughs> I might. You forgot the Fuglies. Ah, yes. Watch out on that islet with the cash. The Fuglies are especially large and tough there. I've no idea why, and I don't care. But these large ones are in demand, so the hunters don't clear them out. They just catch a couple from time to time, and leave the rest to repopulate. Got it. So that's about it. We've been told to observe and render assistance if needed. We told you what we know. That should count. Thanks, guys. Good luck. See ya!
so I'd search for a place to hide if I were you. Thank you, Tom. Stay safe. Are you talking to me? So, duh! I'm telling you that my brother is totally cuckoo! He thinks I want to take over his share of our business. We own a car dealership, right to drive. Use Nipponese cars, best quality. We built a booming business from scratch and then he went mad. We even shared one code to our safe box. He knows half, I know half. We used to be proud of that. Sure, our accountant Angela knew both halves. Otherwise, we both always had to stay at office. But we trusted each other. Do you understand? And then the asshole kicked me out and took my half of the business, reducing me to eating these rats. Shut the fuck up. Not only that, he also went off his rock. Says it's me who's taken over, not him. Can you believe that? I want to bring him back to his senses. I want someone to find out his half of the code, sneak into the dealership, take the papers from the safe box and bring them to me. So that I could show him who's listed as the owner there and prove it was him who kicked me out, not the other way around. Maybe that could bring his sanity back. Listen, it's very complicated. Listen. My half of code is one, two, three, four. You guys are something. Just learn his half of the code and get me those papers from the safe box. I'll make it worth your while. Now we'll see. Yes. We'll see. We'll see who's really insane. He'll just have to admit it. Where are the documents? You have them already, no? We won't weasel out of truth this time. Skedica. this.
could be of use. Open sesame! Open sesame. Ah, here are the documents the brothers asked for. Now we'll see. Oh, they must be fixed already, just like you wanted. Now, read what's written there, and don't try to fool me. All right, all right. Uh, aha! You see? Sole proprietor. Wait a minute. But why? Tukina Angela Ivanovna. Tim. So it was Angela who kicked us both out. That snake! That bitch! How could she? To think I hated my brother because of her! Brother! Brother! Forgive me, brother! You forgive me? How could I treat you like that? I was no better. I believe that! I should have known, I should have! She told me lies about you! I should have known! It's all in the past, now it's going to be alright! We will rebuild! Um, oh, we'll bring <laughs> it look. all back, brother! From scratch, like back then! I guess brother, I'll be going. I have a brother again. Oh. <laughs> Me too. Like I always had. To think I doubted you. I'm sorry. I can't. No matter. Everything will be just fine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We'll go back to importing cars from Japan. <laughs> Best quality. Oh, brother! <laughs> brother! <laughs>
I could use that. Пригодится.
find shelter. Thanks, Tom. I will. Good luck, Sam. Gotta find another way. Listen up, boys! 
blast.
great find. to this. So you know what that makes you? What? Well, no shit. It makes you a dick on a stick! <laughs> well, you're just asking for trouble now. I can't be a real dick, you know, and shoot your ass! After all, I see a fine drum up here! Ooh! I'm done for, guys! If I don't come back, you all know who is to blame for my untimely death!
car. Aren't you tired of the fucking stench? Ah, uh, shit. So sleepy. <laughs> what could give? This is a real prize. Burn. 
Gunners never <laughs> shoot without a warning. But those bastards! Oh, have you heard the story about Dolik the Bold and the Sea Serpent? Ah, that one. Yes, I have. How about the one when the submariners, when they still used to sail, met a mutant seven times larger than their sub? That one I know even better than you. Ah, my second cousin's best man used to sell moonshine to their sonar operator. That guy. Uh, you fucking bitch! You damn motherfucker. I'll drag you out of your hole and cut. Tune to leather strips. Oh, you don't find things like this often. Boys, this fuck face is hiding somewhere. Gotta find the bitch! Just let me see you, bitch, and you're fucking dead. Just let me see you, bitch, and you're fucking dead. I'm gonna find you soon! Don't fret! Feel better already. This is definitely a keeper.
плохо. Хорошо. Thank <laughs> you. 
shuttle submarine. Pretends to be a fool. He waltzes all smiles and niceties, and the next thing you know, he's the new boss, and all who oppose them are dead. That just means those gangs were weak, like the submariners. He can't do that to us. We'll shear them all like the sheep they are. Got to watch out not to get sheared instead. I heard he did this to some serious people once. They all thought the cat was not a threat to the wolves they were, and paid the price. Think about the numbers, the cat's gang boss now, combined with the submarines. Is that supposed to scare me or what? Doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> I know, getting scared isn't our thing. Still, I think it would do us good to lay low for a while and weigh the odds. That's why you shouldn't have shot those submariners up. Sam here. I have the suits. Great, sir. Let's meet at the HQ building. Do you read? Got a show at the HQ building. Sam out.
Anybody home?
Observation journal. New outpost. Important. Spotted the ex-captain. Armed. Heading east. Hasn't noticed us. We updated the base and are waiting for the hunters. <laughs> what do we need them for? He's getting away. We gotta act. Let's get him with a pincher movement. Just the two of us is enough. Tom said it clearly. We must wait for the hunters. Tom. Always Tom. Soon you won't know how to wipe your ass unless he gives his order to. He didn't put everything exactly. We should have called Clem. He'd give us sane orders, not like that windbag with his crap. <laughs> yeah, your darling Clem would have told you, get him or I'll have your head. End of story. The captain isn't your average Joe. What would you do if he gave us the slip? You're just a coward, that's all. You and your Tom. You must take risks if you want to achieve anything. Yeah, right. Explain to me then. Why does Clem work for Tom? And why do you work for me? Uh, we'll see about that. You'll see? Watch the captain, you idiot! I'll fuck you up if you lose him! We'll see about that! Now I wasted a tape because of you! Sam again. I'm in position. Roger that, Ed. Sam out. The whole horde of mutants decided to crash my party. Yeah, these parts are dangerous. <laughs> That's right. Here's your suit, Ed. Thanks. I'd better put it on right now. Hold on to this. I'll be quick. How did it go? Uh, good. Ah, I still put it on in regulation time. So, are you ready to enter the lair of the beast? Always ready. How do we get there? We can take the boat right to the spot. The access tunnel is half floated. We'll have to open a few gates though. So we'll need to split up at the entrance. Here's the bunker plan. I marked everything I know on it. At the spot, we load the rods on the boat and make our best speed out. We'll take a shortcut, the sea tunnel. Got it. We expect any hostiles? Just the zap spiders. What was that? Huge freaking spiders. They accumulate electric charge and hit you with it. They can also switch off lamps, stop motors, but if you chase them away, everything comes back online. Killing them is hard, but incendiaries work wonders. Spasibo. 
Just what the world needs. More kinds of huge freaking spiders. You're welcome. Well, we're here, Sam. See that gate? First of all, we'll need to turn the backup power on using the panel in the guard room. That should be enough for the lights and the electric locks. But we'll need generators to power the rest. Got it, Ed. So, I start the generators, we load the fuel and leave? Exactly. Well, make a landfall, and good luck. Good luck. Roger that. What the? Torches. Yes, we should have. Niedorna.
I'm in the generator room. Okay. Now find the master switch. Roger. Skedica. Get over it. Anyway, how did these electric abominations come to be? I guess this place is just cursed. <laughs> Though with so much radiation and anomalies around, it's not surprising. Yeah, that's true. Roger it. I'm on it. Aha, I could use this.
I'm all right, Ed. The lift is not, though. As long as you're okay, we're fine. Find the ventilation entrance and go up the vents to get here. Acknowledged. I thought it'd be easier. Me too. Spiders are a bit too much, really. I hate those fuckers. I don't think even their mamas like them. Still, we pulled it off. We're almost out of the tunnel, too. So, congratulations, I guess. Thank you. Damn. This rubber is stuffy as hell. You're right about that. What now, Ed? I guess it's time to call Tom. Yes. Tom, Sam here. We have the fuel rods and are heading for the dock. Oh, great news. We'll prepare for the loading operation. What's your ETA? About an hour. About an hour. Good. We'll be waiting for you then. Tom out. We're all set. All right. It's full steam ahead. For the record, I do understand why people would follow Tom. I really do. Of course, his talk of restoring the civilization is bullshit, but I can't even say I hate him, honestly. Klim with his atrocities, on the other hand. Still, Klim's not in charge. Tom is. And be he the savior and Buddha in one person, I still could never agree with him. Still manning the gate? Give me a break! Yes, sir! It's me! 
Well, open up if that's the case. Yes, Captain, sir. Opening up. I'm really happy to see you back, Captain, sir. Me too. Me too. Sam, before we arrive, I'd like to ask you to hear me out. You're a good guy. Honest, nice. You were nice the moment we met. I remember you put your gun down. So I'll be frank with you. I can't let Tom have the soap. I just can't. I already told you how much of a risk it is. So I won't repeat myself, you know it all. I should have taken her out to sea and scuttled her there long ago. But uh, I just couldn't. It would be like murdering my immortal soul. She bears no blame. She served us and kept us alive all these years. But now I have no choice. There's a charge in one of the roads. The guys put it in there in case we got caught. This is the detonator. I will be searched, but you... You are Tom's best pal, his negotiator. So, just press the button when I give you the signal. Don't worry, it won't go nuclear. But no bastard will ever be able to use my ship for anything after that thing goes off. I understand that you'll be losing your ticket home that way. But I think I know you well enough, son. And it seems that you're not ready to pay Tom's price. Still, if I am wrong, just toss the thing and be done with it. All I'm asking is, give it a thought, okay? I have nobody else to rely on, son. Thank you for your trust, Ed. I won't let you down. make the right decision. Not so fast. First, your iron. And the pockets out, too. What the hell's going on here? Stop it! Mmm, I see you have new people. Yes, sir. Sorry about that, comrade captain. I'm so glad so to see I, you. So am I, son. I'm very sorry. But you can't keep the weapons. I'll have to search you, too. It's all right. I understand. How are you? Get married yet? <laughs> Not yet, comrade captain. No time for that. Too busy here. You're doing well, Vitya. I always knew you'd go far. The 
We gotta search this one too. No need. Sam is with us. Glad you're here, Sam. Well, hello there, Cap. How long has it been? Huh? Hello there yourself, Tom. Not long enough, I think. <laughs> really? Well, then again, maybe you're right. Another year out there, fresh air and all that, could have convinced you to agree to command this sub under my flag. Ha! <laughs> fresh air? It always felt stuffy out there, you know. Could it be a heart problem? With your age, you know. Ah, uh, no. It's just that you were around all the time. <laughs> I'll feel better too, sailing the high seas away from you. What's that noise out there? Everyone on board, you're completely surrounded. Surrender and come out with your hands above your head. Clem, what is the meaning of this? I'm one step ahead of you, that's what it means. Did you think I had no idea you were going to get rid of me? Do I look blind to you or dumb? No, at the moment you look like a dog that's gone rabid and needs to be put down. <laughs> Tom, I used to respect you, but just listen to yourself. The true shining city on a hill, what have to use it? Bullshit! You're gonna keep all the world at the point of a nuclear gun and you come out all clear. Ain't happening! Somebody's gonna give a shit about your threats if you don't even shoot once. I, on the other hand, <laughs> already have a couple of targets in mind. Backstabbing cocksucker! <laughs> I hate to say I told you so. And I hate to admit that you were right. What do you say to us forgetting our differences until we solve this problem? A truce? A truce. Great. Then she's in your hands. Can you take her to sea? Not until the dock gate is open. The control room is definitely in Flynn's hands now, so we're stuck. How many men do we have? Barely enough to hold them at bay. And even that, only until we run out of ammo. There's dozens of them. Tom, I have a plan. You keep him distracted while I sneak out and open that gate. All alone? With the numbers they have, our only chance is not getting noticed. Uh, you're right. But we'll have to mount a diversion to make sure you do sneak out. Yes, boss. Let's do this before it gets even worse. Sam, we'll keep them busy, but still, be careful out there. Sam, wait for our signal. Roger that. Good luck, soldier. Thanks.
about now. <laughs> yeah.
Too much trust in your people's ability to stop me! Yeah, I see it. I mean, you caught them. But first, I will have you dealt with. Let the buggles lose! When they're done with the Taurus, bring me his gun! The new to the ashtray! Ashtray? <laughs> so tacky.
is up with you? There he is! Shoot him! Get the fucker! Clem, you are one tough bastard. Judge like a criminal. Where I come from, the mutineers hang. I'm in the tower. Situation under control. Ma'am, they're cutting through the hatch. Hit that gate or we're done for. Order your people to stand down. Screw you, America! Go, go, go! 
Surprise, motherfucker! Fucker! He'll rip you apart! Sorry, Ed, but I couldn't do it. I was an alien in Moscow, and even more so over here, where I had no friends. Tom offered me his hand. So what if that hand could push the button? Another nuclear war won't happen. The old world is already dead. A few more wounds on a corpse. What difference does that make? I don't think any price would be too high for a ticket home. Especially since I'm not the one footing the bill. My hope to see Dad is all I have left. All I've been dreaming of. All these years. <laughs> <laughs> 